We just got done hosting Champions of Realms Qualifier Week 1. This Friday, tomorrow, Top 8 is going down over on Caboose's Twitch channel. You're not going to want to miss the Top 8 action because what went down here was ridiculous. Slap a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, let's get into this crazy action. It all started when Caboose had destroyed a form that had an alliance. They sought the most powerful barriers across all the realms. But only one can be crowned the champion of the realms. everybody champions of the realms is finally back we're I back know, baby take it easy kid i know this has been long awaited everybody's been asking me destroyer where's champions of the realms caboose where's champions of the realms well listen it's here so okay it's going down but what we need you guys to do right now anybody who's participating in this tournament do not forget to check in on start.gg i know it's been a fat minute since we ran these tournaments and I know it's a little jumbled for you guys, but Caboose, let these guys know what's going on because I don't want to have to break some necks. Yeah, seriously, make sure you guys check in on Start GG, okay? We're going to try and keep an eye on as much as possible, but like at the end of the day, you guys are responsible for the way you're participating in this tournament. So if you're going to sit there and not check in for your match for 20 minutes and then you get DQ'd, I don't want people coming to crying at me about it, all right? Let's just make sure we run this as organized as possible. We're we're not a whole crew. I think we're good. I think we're about to be in business. For sure. Knock on wood that it's smooth sailing from here. Champions of the Realms for Mortal Kombat 1 now finally is about to officially begin. Here we go. Yeah, I don't want to do it anymore, bro. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, I'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, have a good one. Okay, here we go, Destroyer. We got Lee May. We got a Baraka rocking the Kano. Some people are saying that this Kano cameo kind of Yo, acts Caboose. like... What's up? Can you, like... You're going to have to hold it down on the uh, Macharino. Or not the Macharino, the... Uh, the start.gg if you can. Oh, what, what happened? You're just going to have to. What? Okay. <laughs> Let me, see if, let, let me see if I can open it up on my phone. I'm, I'm looking, but, but why people aren't reporting their scores? No, yeah, just make sure like you know people are not getting DQ'd and stuff. And I'll try to I'll try to keep an eye on the Discord. As long as they ping us in the Discord. All right, all right, all right. Um, I think there's one one person. I forgot. I got. I think I got to like fully DQ them. All right, all right. Saudi right, right. Arabia, right? Yeah, yeah. DQ that guy. All right, here we go. We're finally getting it started here. We got a Baraka. We got a Lee Mei. Sav- Oh, wait. What? Savage is the- I thought Savage was playing the Baraka, but it turns out Jeremy K.O. was the one the playing the Baraka. Yeah. Very nice. He's going crazy right now with the pressure. Gets clipped by the throwing knives. He's chopping her up, bro. Good stuff from Jeremy K.O. I mean, uh, Savage. So we're, we're DQing King MGA, right? Yeah, 1000%. No question about it. Finisher. 
Okay, destroyer. Let's get into the match now. We 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 we're, we're we're distracted. We got too many things we're looking at right now. We we got to remember we're commentating here. All right. Here we go. First match there is gonna go to Jeremy Ko with the Baraka. Okay. Rocking it with the Kano cameo, which before you cut me off yelling at me about looking at the Star GT, I was trying to say that some people are looking at Kano to try and act as a substitute after the nerf to Cyrax cameo. But I don't think it I don't think it works the way that some people want it to, Destroyer. You can tell me if I'm wrong. Uh it's pretty similar, I'm not gonna lie, because people use Cyrax uh not only for the chip damage, but for the plus frames that it gave people. And you know, Kano kinda does the same thing, not as excessive as the duck. Cyrax. Yeah. Yeah, you could you could duck the Kano knives. If, if it's not like jailing high, you could duck the Kano knives. But he's got Kano ball. That's true. That's true. A couple of options here. So it's a nice little substitute for people who are still looking for the pressure that he used to get out of that Cyrax cameo. And right now we see here that Savage has actually switched off of Lime Scorpion and into Ashra Serena. Now Serena, to my understanding, also, well, technically just cameos in general, got a bit of a nerf when you use two of them in one combo. The scaling has gone up a bit, so you can't... You can't get those easy 50 percenters like it's nothing anymore. But still, a solid combo there from Savage. Jeremy's going to send Savage into the corner. Which okay. Looks the low, gets caught by the low poke, though. And Savage now coming back here with the character switch to Ashra. Or Devora or Ashra. Very nice, man. Very, very nice. I like that a lot. As a matter of fact, up. I'll take two. Oh, there we go. The low connect with Troyer. Here we go. Going for the side switch. 28% on that. And there we go now. Not going to meter burn it. Throw connect. Into the corner you go. Oh, wanted that 4-3. Could have been a whiff on it and a half. There's so much good range with oh, Asher by the way, normal. By the way, so we might have messed up on the bracket a little. It is saying first to two, but it's his first to three. So just play your first to three and, and, and report the scores. Whoever wins. Yes. Yes. It is first. It's a first and three. So report your scores. All right. Very game nice. audio. Game audio and music audio is a little bit loud. Says the chat. Okay. Let me lower it. Okay. Watch the cross up there, destroyer. Here we go now, Jeremy. Going in. Get caught by the little low poke. Oh, Ooh. trying to armor through, get top of the low now. Here we go, Savage gonna get something started. Okay, 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 wait a second. Nice. Beautiful. He yeah, he's gonna put him in the corner, he's gonna open him up. This is a lot of pressure coming right now from Savage. Jeremy KO tries to fight his way out of here, goes for the throw. Punish. Big time. Look at this, Destroyer. Oh no, drop the combo. Instead of getting the standing two, he got a forward two. And that's gonna allow Savage to catch the throw and take that game, tying up this set one-to-one. -one. Game audio is still loud. Commentators are a little low, says the chat. But you guys are gonna have to fix your ears. I don't know what to tell you guys. Yeah. You want to pull, pull up the stream and let let me know how it sounds, Caboose. I'll see if I can. I'll see what it sounds like. Pull up the stream and let me know how it sounds before I end up DQing everybody in this tournament, calling it a day. All right, here we go. We're going into the next match here. Nah, this sounds good to me now. Unless this chat. Yeah. Hey, no, good to me. You gotta think about it. Some people literally have poop in their ear holes, bro. I think so. Oh my god, what are we witnessing here? Uh, so, Tarot Temptress says that somebody needs to get DQ'd in pool number three. Yeah. Who, who's that? Uh, 
It looks like Night Fusion. Or was that? I don't know, but I think he's having trouble DQing him. Can you DQ Night Fusion? Okay. He's in the movement right now, so how do I DQ him? Do you DQ him the whole thing? Yeah, DQ him the whole thing. All right, and remember everybody, it's first to three, so make sure you guys are playing first to three. Look at this walk down right now from Savage. He's gonna get smacked with the whip punish of a lifetime. Wow! Big throw there now. Jeremy with the corner pressure destroyer. Okay, and here we go. See, you can't get that same sort of pressure that you used to with that Cyrax cameo, but you gotta be really careful Very right now. Nice. Jeremy just gotta chip out your destroyer, and there we go. The chip is gonna work. Jeremy ties up the rounds. Baraka fighting. Fighting for Archon disease. Armor's through with the back four three now. Looking for the low. Yeah, he is definitely looking for the low. He's gonna get clipped by the Serena. That is a cameo that did not get touched. And it kind of blows my mind because, oh my God, is Serena a problem? She's still someone definitely to watch out for. Wow, beautiful stuff. They're kind of trading in the air here. Blows my mind that this is just game number two. Oh, very nice. Gonna use the Kano to keep it plus. I'm telling you, man. They're trying to find Ooh. more rounds for no Cyrax. And Jeremy there KO is go. doing an incredible job at that. Your stuff for that brutality. Oh, oh my god. All right, all right. Destroyer, before we get into the next match, I need you to check your DMs real quick. On what? What's easiest for you? Can I hit you up on Discord? Yeah. Oh no, hit me up on uh Twitter. Twitter. What happened? Tell me. There's, there's apparently another c competitor I've been told that we might need to DQ. Oh, just DQ him, bro. But this is this is coming from an, uh, from one of the players, and I don't know the background to this. Why? I messaged you on Twitter. The hourglass. Combat won't ease your symptoms. But for a while, uh. I will forget them. You gotta be a little more. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh. Alright. Oh, the flawless block. That could have been a big punish there, but Savage misses the opportunity, Destroyer. Okay. The Kano knives connect. Low pokes. Look at the pressure. You're right. In a way, Kano is a is a pretty solid substitute after the big Cyrax. No. Here we go. Meter burning. No, not gonna get the sides. Nice meter burn wake up there from Savage. Jeremy backing up, creating a little bit of space, looking for an opening. Oh, that could have been a whip punish and a half. But instead, Savage gets caught by the forward three now, and that's going to be the round. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. Here we go. It looks like Jeremy KO is on the hunt, looking to close this out right now. All right, we just need to find out if the player is North American. figure it out and if he's wired and then, and then if he's if he's na and wired then you know he's good to play all right and if the other player has a problem with that then i mean dq them right i don't know what to say that's what they're asking a very good, good throw. throw there from savage yeah he's gonna go for another throw here this is gonna be oh no wait i forgot it's not cyrax anymore so you can't get the combo confirm off of that all right big combo there in the air and savage is gonna get the chip out this is quite a back and forth here destroyer especially now on this character switch jeremy up two to one but savage is looking to send us to a game five i heard jeremy's got a lot of gas and he's been feeling very gassy these last couple weeks so oh, yeah. that's probably why he's uh choking here 
I think he's, he was hoping to get Boraito in this game for that exact reason. <laughs> oh, hold on, bro. He needed it. <laughs> I'm trying to get uh, more matches for free. All right, all right. There's the low going to connect now into the Serena cameo. This could spell the end here for Jeremy. Are we going to a game five? Yes, indeed we are. I wouldn't want it any other way for the first match of Champions of the Realm for Mortal Kombat 1 Destroyer. The hype is real. Hey, do me a problem. Do me a, do me a big problem, kid. And don't, don't ever take me a favor in your life. You understand me? Yeah. Don't you ever take me a favor in your life or else I'm gonna smack you on the top of the head and call you Pinocchio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, I see a lot of people getting DQ'd. What's up with that, man? Yeah, I don't know. You guys gotta check in for your matches. I said at the top of the stream, check in for your matches. We're not your babysitters, all right? You're all adults, okay? You're grown. You know how to use the computers. You just check in for your matches. Oh, start wow. DQ. All right, I see there's, there's, there's players playing, but at the same time, there's a lot of people getting DQ'd. Uh, we are going to be streaming all the matches into top eight, so the faster we get there, I feel like <laughs> so be it. Better <laughs> but, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yo, it, check in, guys. Check in. It's it's a simple button press. You, you go into the website, you click on your bracket, you click on your match, and you hit check in. It, it literally, I'm telling you, it couldn't be easier. Like, if we tried really hard, it couldn't be easier. Yo, this match is getting kind of crazy right now. If you won your set, 3-2, whatever, just report the scores at 2-1. We, we accidentally said it incorrectly on our start GT, so it says only first to two. But if you won your set, you won your set, just report the scores and... Hopefully, the person you played against has the honor to report it correctly as well, and you can just move it on from there. If there are any issues, hit me up in the Discord. I'm keeping an eye on it, and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible. Just go to the support channel if you got any problems. All right. Oh, I got to connect my controller. Oh my God, yeah, listen, 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 it's been Come a minute, on, listen, it's been a minute since we ran one Buddy. of these tournaments, let me tell you, I forgot how, uh, how fun this is. <laughs> Good throw, it looks like he's gonna be tying up the rounds here. Oh, this is literally going down to the wire right now, man, what is going on? Meiosis, mitosis! They kicked me out of the apartment after the <laughs> one. Go now. Final game, final round. Destroyer, the low connect. So much range on it. Asher is very strong for that reason. She controls the mid range very well. Nicely done. There we go. Savage catching Jeremy without holding blocks for a second there. Oh, watch that back three. Into the corner we go, Destroyer. Oh, wait a second. I just realized that he's trying to rock the Cyrax. He said, you know what, nerf or not. Oh, the back one for the back three one connect into the fatal blow. Is this going to be enough? Destroyer, is this it? I think it is. We're looking at a post nerf for Rasha, Cyrax, and the win. Wait. It is enough on the final slam. That'll be it. And a fatality. Oh, God. Oh, no. I gotta say, really good stuff from Jeremy KO doing his thing. And look at this, the Tarkatans coming to oh, face. Baraka said, gotta call Baraka this one. said, come face my friends. They gotta, call this, they gotta call this fatality Ashawarma. He like, said, he said, said smokes. we died in hell. You want some Ashawarma right there? All right, all right. Stop. Yeah? No? Stop, stop. Hey, hey, Spanky no. Doodle, stop the music. This guy's talking about right. Shawarma. Stop the music. This guy's talking about Shawarma. Hey, yo, Spanky Doodle, stop the music. This guy's talking about shawarmas. This guy's talking about shawarmas. <laughs> Destroyer, what did you think? First set of the night for champ. First set for Champions of the Realms of Mortal Kombat 1. I know it was a bit well, all over the place. Let me tell you. We have to keep track of. After, what, you after think? running into the internet issues, I literally almost had a panic attack getting into this <laughs> event. 
but it looks like everything is going down uh apparently ajx needs to be dq'd okay ajx jesus christ so does voyager not have an opponent hold on there's a lot of people getting dq'd but the next match it seems like we have here is going to be there you go that answers that huh for you right there. I'm liking the cosmetics here, bro. Look at this uh this nice. havoc cosmetic. Yeah. Okay, so we got Yo, a Johnny. Is there, we is there any it. way we could uh figure out why Tower Temptress can't can't do the, the thing? Uh I, if she said it's an admin, she should be able to. I, I have no problem doing it. You gotta sometimes you gotta start the match and then DQ the person. Oh here we are, destroyer by the way, Johnny Cage's mansion. Oh Halloween'd up now. Look at Havoc in the background there, actually. A little Havoc standy as Havoc is fighting for his life in the corner right now. Boden, Boden. The first Johnny Lau of the night. Like I said, Destroyer, this is going to be one to watch out for. What a parry to get to the other side there. That was some nice stuff there to avoid the big damage. Hold on, hold Havoc on. Havoc rips off his arm. Hold on, let me see if I can figure out what's going on with Tower Tempters. I, I, I'm gonna give her a call real quick. Just give me one second. Commentate. I got this. You got that. Okay, here we go now. Bowden trying to go in. Gotta watch out. Here comes the insane pressure against the, the Johnny Lau combo. There you go. Nice breaker. Interesting that uh, Bowden the Cyrax. There's still a couple of people that are sticking to the Cyrax cameo. Interestingly enough. Oh, nicely done with the shadow kick. Meter burning it to get the armor. Throw is going to connect though. Bowden slowly coming back. Looking for that Cyrax net. One of the harder bits of the cameo to actually land against your opponent. Waiting for the cameo to come back. I don't know if he's going to get it in time to survive the onslaught. What is he going to do on wake up? He's going to chip it out. Challenging taking game one yeah, bring it how was cyrax nerfed so i believe the horizontal spin costs a full bar now instead of half the bar so you can't keep up that constant pressure like you used to and need to be really wise about what you're utilizing there with that cyrax cameo otherwise you're not going to have the tools that you need from it to extend your combos and do some insane damage How many times you need to ask about the lag for your match? One more time. You guys, okay. Uh, uh, we need to set the record straight. All right, who won that? Sure everybody understands. Who won that? So, cha challenging one game who one. Who won that? Challenging one, challenging one. Yo, but I want to know right so, now, who took the game number one in that one? Yeah, yeah. So, I'm just trying to tell the chat real quick. Uh, because somebody's getting pissed off about talking about how they're having lag in their match. Yo, there's three people trying to manage like over a hundred of you guys all right if you're lagging and it shows that you are both on wired connections and the ping looked okay and both the players are from north america at that point i'll be honest i don't know how much more we can do for you all right you're grown up we cannot baby over a hundred of you guys when it's only three of us running the entire tournament while we're also trying to commentate and bring the entertainment for the people watching at home. All right, it's all right, it's all right. We're, we're going down. Right now we got Johnny, we got Lau. This is one of the most broken comps in the game still. Look out. And Challenging is really putting it to work here. Bowden right now with the Ashra. Looking like a pretty popular character pick right now. You know, Ashra really didn't get too much flack in that last patch, and I feel like she's really ditching damage, bro. Low there with the Lau. Challenging, looking to close out this little health bar here on Bowden. Bowden still staying alive, gets caught by the low though. And here comes the pressure, not a lot of time left. Oh, wait a second, Destroyer in the Fatal, into the Fatal. Oh does God. it connect? Yes, it does, Bowden stays alive. Oh now are we pronouncing that right, is it Bowden? Bowden? Well, I got a song for him and the song goes, Bowden, 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 Bowden. I have to work on the lyrics there a little bit. Uh, sounds a bit repetitive. All right, you better take it easy. 
Beautiful stuff on the uh, staggers there from Bowden. He's up the round. It looks like challenging is gonna get some combo started here. Goes with the heart to block, but completely messes it up. Who taught this guy how to do the heart of blockables, Caboose? Who taught this guy that's how to do the heart question. of blockables? That's a good question. Oh, good throw. Ooh, flawless blocks go straight for that armor move that everybody complains about. Good luck punch. Dashing up here with this insane pressure. Now, once again, Stagger City. Odin loses the round, challenging with the corner pressure, ready to go. All right, he's gonna play that auto neutral Serena here. Waiting for the perfect opportunity to catch him slipping. I mean, Serena is the literal epitome of catching somebody slipping because you take one wrong step in neutral caboose and Serena touches you, it's over. It's over. You're eating like a 50% combo. That's right. Here we go now. Oh, nice breaker, okay. Oh, he's bending the resources. The tough thing about breaker in this game is it costs a lot. It's, it's your whole stick of butter now, y'all. And you gotta make sure you have cameo at the ready, too, if you want a breaker at all. Right now, the final round, every hit is going to count. Challenging is up 1-0 in this set. Oh, was looking for the jump back. Finds an opening. Challenging, gonna break her. Oh, gets caught though once again. Odin gonna get some good damage off of this. This could actually be the end, and indeed it will be of a nice 42% combo. Astra looking very strong right now in this tournament. I mean, hey, listen, really good adjustment from Bowden there. He's gonna be tying things up one to one. And he's got the demon team on lockdown. I'm loving this. You're right. You're right. That's actually kind of a sick little duo there. For that reason. For the lore purposes. <sighs> oh, uh, hold on. Oh, What's up? is hand playing or did hand get DQ'd? Standing on my mantle. I could look at the Discord. Yo, Lucifer, we're commentating a tournament. We can't sit here and, and uh, like, I don't know what you want anybody to do, bro. Your match is like, what am I supposed to do about it? What are me and Destroyer, what can me and Destroyer do to help you right now? Your match is like, how can I help you? Yo, you know what, listen, Caboose. I'm sending this guy a Giovanni's pizza right now, so he'll be fine, he'll be fine. <laughs> what can I do to change that for you? I'm sitting here commentating. This guy's crying in the chat. You want me to buy your box of tissues? I can do that for you. Uh, all right, hold on. That's it. I'm sending this guy to Giovanni. All right, really nice. Oh! Watch out here. Odin actually did a really good job off the character switch here to Astro, but now challenging is going to answer back. It's gonna get crazy in this corner here. Destroyer nicely done. The jump back to avoid the wake up. And that is gonna be the round and the setup into the star power. Incredible stuff there from Challenging. Wow. Right, very nice, good pressure right now. He's got him locked down in the corner. This is Johnny Cage 101. Bowden's gonna have to fight his way out of this corner immediately. If not, he's gonna be sleeping with the fishes. Bowden holds down this corner right now. But just as I say that, challenging answers back. Breaker, gotta watch out. With no breaker left and star power at the ready, this could spell the end of this match here. Challenging, looking to close it out, doesn't even need the star power to do so. That's game three. Challenging now up two to one. Bring it. Yo, do you think Bowden's gonna be able to adjust for these next couple matches here? I don't know. I mean, the Astro pick is doing pretty well. Just got to tighten up on the play. But man, this Johnny Lau combo is still so, so, 
so strong, Destroyer. Again, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a lot of this tonight, and maybe even over the course of this eight week, depending on whether or not a nerf comes in for Johnny Cage. Yeah, we are gonna have to see what happens here. I mean, Bowden sitting in this character select screen, is he thinking about switching? Looks like he's gonna stick with the Ashra. Honestly, I think a smart choice. I like the Ashra Serena pick. Just need to tighten up the gameplay just a little bit. Yeah, you're right about that, kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. you're right about that, kid. He's gonna have to tighten I'm it right up. About a lot of things. I'm right about a lot of things. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, so hold on. Are we DQing Lucifer? Uh, I don't know. Because his match, is hold, his match is holding stuff up. Oh. He's complaining about lag. Where's yeah, he, he, he's in pool two. Pool two. Yeah, we gotta do something about him. So we make the executive decision. <laughs> Where, where's Lucifer? I don't, I'm looking for him. Here KO two. Lucifer in pool two. You gotta make the executive decision. Because uh, I don't know what's happening. But he might have to get DQ'd. Oh, because Lucifer still hasn't even played that first match. No, they still haven't played. I'm the one who won. So Lucifer said they won. So he won and he's complaining so, about the lag? So you won and you're sitting there crying in the chat about the lag. You didn't even report the scores and you start GG. You guys didn't even report your scores. Why, why does it still say 0-0? Zero, zero? Yo, I just DQ this guy and advance flow yeah. gaming. DQ this guy and send him a Giovanni's pizza to his house, please. Alright, here we go. Oh, he's gonna launch him in the air! Well, again, we, we accidentally messed up the bracket. It is first to three. So play out your first to three and just be uh be respectable and report the the, the right score. Who won? Wow, look at this combo pressure right now. He's gonna get him into the nut punch. No, goes for the hat setup. Challenging, looking to close this out Slow. with Bowden. He has a chance. All right, final game, or sorry, not final game, final round, but final round. This is final typo. Wake up there from Bowden. Ooh, good tech throw there from Challenging. I just don't understand how somebody can win a match and then spend 20 minutes crying about... No, 40, 40 minutes. Yeah, 40 minutes 40 crying minutes. about the match that they just won and then that whole time they didn't report the scores. It was 40 minutes that dude complained. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Listen, yo, yo, listen, chat. We we try to set the rules in place, right? And like me and Caboose, we're not the keepers of time. You know, we we can't control everybody's internet connection. We we set rules in place, but like if something happens, man, don't come whining and crying like that. Just be a grown up about it. Be respectful about That's it. Right. And just like exactly. contact us. We'll get. We'll we'll solve the issue. Don't sit in the chat. The place. You know, we have a support section in the court. On top exactly. of that, there's a support section on the uh, start.gg. If you're gonna be whining and crying in the in the stream chat. You're gonna get a DQ, and you're also gonna get a, a slap to the back of the head. You picked the the place that is hardest for us to keep track of what people are saying to ask for support help on a on an issue that is non-existent because you won the set. <laughs> I don't. You're talking about lag in the one match that you played that you apparently won, didn't report the scores for, and and you're trying to yell in the chat about how like we needed to do something to help you. What what else could we have done? at that point to help you if you won. Yo, can we find out if uh, if the player Blackberry is around or is that another DQ? We're looking. Let's see if we can find him. Is he in the Discord? Uh, Blackberry, right? Yeah, to the one, the next match to fight Voyager's Revenge. Wow. 
Wowzers. Wowzers indeed. And yo, this is another 2-2 two -two down to the wire set here. Challenging. He's got Bowden in the corner, but just as I say that, Bowden fights his way out. He's got Serena's everywhere. Beautiful. This is going to be a fat combo. How much damage are we looking at here? Bro, why didn't this character get nerfed? Why didn't I run damage and needle the purse? That's a good Why question. Why didn't I run damage and needle the purse? That's a good question. But hey, again, this Yo. is what I like to see. I like different characters showing up. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Astro's always been pretty solid. Um, and she just, she didn't get caught up in the, uh, in the, in the bloodbath that was the latest patch. Lucifer is going to be making a post about us on Twitter. Hey, listen, bro. Uh, so I'm getting a, a message right now that we need to advance Thursday. Which pool is he in? Let's see. Which pool is Thursday in? On Thursday, on Wednesday, on Friday. Just as we're saying that, so Destroyer Bowden is on match point here. Making a crazy comeback with this Astro. Looking to close things out. Challenging. Needs to find an opening. No, goes for the raw fatal. Cancels out of it, gets punished. This looks to be the end, and indeed it will be. Bowden with the Astra running it back after being down 2 1 and taking that set. Good stuff. All right. Uh, oh, Bowden actually won? Bowden won. So, yo, Spanky Dude, Spanky Dude, Spanky Dude, chill out, chill out, chill out. What happened? So, Thursday, where's Thursday? We need to advance Thursday or, or uh so Birdie needs to be in losers and Thursday needs to be in winners. Uh hold on. Oh boy, oh boy. Hold on, hold on. On Thursday, on Friday, huh? Uh hold on, let me just find out which pool this is so we could fix this real quick. Alright, pool three. Pool three. So pool three, apparently Thursday is supposed to be in winners. How, like, how did you guys, how did you guys let this happen? <laughs> I'm confused. How did so so? How am did, I resetting? How, but how did Birdie get the two zero? Like I was saying though, you know, like we, like I, I've used Star GT before myself for tournaments. I've been in this situation before. It's not hard to check in for your match. Nah, Xander, you know, like I think you gotta, I think you gotta just wait for next week because this is this is a. Uh, this is gonna they, cause they, a lot of a lot of problems in the bracket, even though everyone DQ'd. <laughs> there may have been there may have been a glitch. Somebody so says Xander sick. said they checked in earlier. Well, you're supposed to check in at six when the tournament officially yeah, started. Yeah, and then and the way it works is you got to check in for all your other matches. So you probably forgot to check in for the other match. Why do Indians live so long? You gotta check in each time, is what you're saying. I think so, right? I'm pretty sure oh, well, that's how course. it works. Yeah, yeah, of course. You can't. You don't just check in one time for your round one match and then you're checked in for the whole tournament. You check in each and every match because then that way your opponent knows that you're ready to go. And then if your match, if look in your bracket, if the match says it's on stream, don't click your match off stream. Yeah, yeah, just let Zoo of the Hut do their thing, but uh, that was weird. Do we have update on Titanium Tigers and Trapazzo? Is, is Tigers playing or did he want to DQ? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Tigers playing or what's up with that? Uh... I don't know. Can, can you uh, message him and whatever he hits you up? Find out what, what the deal is with him. All right. Beautiful stuff from Voyager's Revenge. Did she got the smoke right now? Yo, fun fact. This is my IRL brother. Oh, hey, nice. There you go. Yo, Voyager's got some sick content on you. I got to give a shout out to you. To you, boy. I mean, he was, he was up on some Spider Man well, stuff. Looking hella cinematic. Well, wait till you check out his gameplay. To be honest. After this, we're gonna do full auto versus Sharp Eye, alright? Very nice. He's got him locked down in the corner right now. This is Pressure Incarnate from Voyager's Revenge. Not letting Blackberry push a single button. Let me tell you, I've been grinding with this kid a lot, and I like to see the progress. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, I know what you're saying. Is, is Titanium Tigers in the Discord? I don't think he is. Oh, 
I like seeing some different characters overall, though, Destroyer. You know, Voyager Rock and Smoke with Striker. And then Blackberry with the Sindel and Sub. Pretty strong combo, if you ask me. Let me tell you, this guy starts dishing out an infinite combo. <laughs> I'm ending the stream. It's over. That was a huge Fatal Blow combo, by the way. Huge Fatal Blow Pipo. By the way, make sure you guys are playing your losers matches, please. Make sure you guys are playing your losers round matches. So far, it looks like everybody in pool four in the loser side, everyone's gotten DQ'd. Guys, play your matches. If you're not on the stream queue, play your matches. Jesus but Christ. Make sure, but make sure you look at the, the bracket to see if you're on stream. If you're on stream, it's like you're it is a little a little twitch icon next to, to your match if you're playing on screen. Yeah, listen. Are, is anybody in the loser side even playing their matches? I'm confused. Uh, All right, we'll, we'll, we'll it, looks like, it looks like a couple of them. One of them I see on screen one started. Oh no, what happened? We looked away for one second and Voyager's Revenge is going to be taking the L. Blackberry. <laughs> Actually going up one game to zero here. We're the Legends Destroyer. This, who just gave him one respect? <laughs> <laughs> was that you? Right. That's oh, not okay. right. Maybe, maybe that was Voyager. All right, here we go. Game two about to be underway now. Between Blackberry TV and Voyager's Revenge. You Earth Realmers seem to get younger all the time. Even our oldest must seem like children to Alright, very nice. Voyager's right. Revenge. He's gonna have to he's gonna have to clean it up. Did he start the entire game with Striker? Yeah. Are you talking about like with the first game with Striker? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rocking the Striker full combo. All right. Game one. He's going to go for the low. Pretty ballsy. He's got to be careful going for stuff like that because, you know, one wrong move and he's going to be finding himself in a very sicky situation. I feel like Smoke definitely has all the tools to, uh, to do his thing. He can get pretty nasty. Like, the damage output that he can, uh, that he can get out there is pretty insane. So long as you're executing. Oh, watch that overhead. There we go now. Blackberry with the combo. Doesn't get the full oh, combo, it. though. You yep. gotta punish that Voyager Revenge. Oh, dropping the combo. Big. He goes for the teleport. He has an opportunity here. Okay, the low connect into the cancel. This could be the end. He's gonna go into He's gonna fatal. Break her. He's gonna break her. No. no breaker. Wait. Wow. wow. Blackberry really had an opportunity there, actually, to steal this round from Voyager. But opts to just keep the bar, or maybe just wasn't paying attention. Why? To the fact that they had the breaker ready to go. I was gonna say, why would he hold on to the breaker for that long? Like that literally makes no sense. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I think there just was a. A situation there where they just weren't paying close attention. Voyager though very consistently landing those cancels. Which is like that is the, the key to unlocking Pandora's box for smoke's combo potential. Oh uh, yo, is um oh wait, I think Bear needs to get DQ'd. A bear with skill? Yeah, I think he caught the uh the 19. Yeah, so let's uh let's get let's get I, I got it, I got it. I'm doing it right now. Okay. And DQ him from losers too. Good okay. throw. Voyager's revenge right now. He is in the corner, goes for the teleport, uses the uh striker to keep him safe. Oh look at this combo! Mad juicy! Mad juicy Mad Quispy! Mad Quispy! Today we're gonna be reviewing the chicken nuggets on Popeyes for the hundredth time. Huge combo there, Destroyer going in, Viz. Wait a sec. Where is he? I don't know. He should have done something. I felt like he got a little too patient. Know, he kind of he <laughs> went in, Viz, and just hung up for a second. <laughs> he went in, Viz, and just left the game. He had to go take a piss. <laughs> he said, yeah, I'll be back. All right. Good, good stuff there from Voyager's Revenge. By the way, you know, chat, this is Destroyer's real-life brother right now. 
Yeah, I know. I'm not even trolling, guys. Like, this is my blood brother. This guy, me and yeah. him, we take we take poops together. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, the chat is asking, and to confirm once again for everybody, we are following the same rule set that was set for the pro competition. So, yes, the loser can, can switch character and cameo, and winner can still switch cameo if they'd like. Very nice. Guys, I get that right? I didn't, I'm not... Not lying to the chat, right? Destroyer. What? What'd you say? I, I'm not paying attention. We're, we're following the pro competition rules. Loser yeah, yeah, pro competition rules. Winner gets to what switch the cameo the still if they'd like to. Yo, I'm, I'm, make, I'm making a video after this. Hold on. Can we get covered? Is Poseidon here? Poseidon. Where am I looking? What, what bracket? What pool? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> All right, we're, we're, actually, we're actually in a good spot. We got a lot of matches ready for stream, all right? All right. So now we just, uh, now we can actually just, like focus and not. It's, it's stressful running these toys, but we're gonna, we're gonna get back in the, We're gonna get back in the groove, guys. Don't worry. This is week one. It's been a minute. Breathe. Not easy, right? Yo, very good stuff right now. He's gonna activate the ice armor. Voyager's Revenge is up. Game number one and match number three. Now, very nice. You correct me if I'm wrong. You're wrong. I mean, it, it's all oh, okay. Is the uh, is the ice armor doing much in this matchup for Sindel against Smoke? I guess maybe maybe for that for the striker. For striker, yes. Like so, if if he didn't have the Sub Zero armor, Voyager's Revenge could literally do stuff like Yolo teleport into his face with striker assist. But since he has the ice armor, you know a lot of the time that stuff is not going to work because he won't have the uh, the grenades to back him up. Yeah, I see. I see. Here we go now. Into the teleport. Into another teleport. Yo, he's in a damage. 41%. That's real juicy with Twisty. Tries to go for the throw, but a beautiful grab tech coming from Blackberry. And that should do low. Oh my god, commentator's curse. Destroy it. Destroy it. Don't do this to me. Oh no! Wait, is that enough? Is that going to be enough? I think it is. That's really close. I think it is going to be enough. I think that's enough. <laughs> you commentated. Oh Curtis. my Two god. Help. Destroy no, that. No, no, no. Oh, oh no, no, no. Two Boys just are best. Tighten it up. Oh, your own brother. How could you do this? Boys just are best. Tighten it up. How could you do this? I'm nervous. Oh, uh, can we advance uh, Wise Gemini? DQ slick shots? It. I got it. How do I DQ somebody from the whole time though if they don't have an, another person to play against in the losers yet? Huh? Like, how do I DQ them from the whole, from this, from oh, this so then We just wait then. Wait until somebody drops down to DQ him too. <laughs> and then DQ that, that guy. And DQ then, him all. And the next one, DQ him as well. Yo, look DQ at this pressure right now. It looks like Voyager's Revenge is just crumbling here. He's gonna open him up with the low. He had a combo confirmed, but didn't quite get it. Oh no, gets caught. Wow, what a reactionary. Looking <laughs> good right now for Voyager's Revenge. Stuck in the corner, gonna beat him to get out of there. This is the back two, and the hair's gonna connect. Black, oh no, Blackberry with the brutality. <laughs> Voyager needs to stop committing to the unsafe strings. He's going for the overhead that goes into that super unsafe low. And I feel like every time he does that, he pays the price for it. Voyager's Revenge yeah. still has a shot of redemption here, but Blackberry's looking real juicy, real quick. Baby. Oh, wait. Send two games to one. Your best bet is absolutely to just continue your pressure off the back two with the, with the cancel. And just keep pressuring your opponent. But man, back two into that cancel is... Uh, it's been, I mean, yo, I'm, I'm a filthy casual. Yo, so did, I suck. did we find like, out what's up with Titanium? Or we, we're DQing him, right? That's you know what? That's true. Actually, I haven't even heard a single thing from Titanium Tigers. Yeah, so I'm DQ no idea. him and I guess uh, Chopaso as well. And uh, Par Parzival gets a free path into Winner's Final. I mean, hey, get us out of here. Wait, wait, wait. Get us out of here already. You want me to DQ? 
tigers and Chapazo? I don't think Chapazo's playing either. Man, what a... Unless he's on court. Nice. Find out, find out. All right, it looks like Voyager Revenge is going to be switching to the Sector. This might be able to give him a little bit more safety in the game plan. Wow, pushing buttons, completely avoiding whatever Voyager's Revenge was trying to set up. He's going to shoot the rocket. This is it, free mix. Oh, no, wait. The Sub-Zero actually covers the, the Sector rocket. Ties it with the overhead and gets the combo confirmed. This is huge. As long as Voyager keeps it clean and doesn't drop anything, Blackberry is going to be in trouble with no meter to work with. No. Not like this. Scream. Oh, Not like this. The fatal. I don't think this kills, but it's going to hurt. I don't think so. I don't think so. It is definitely going to hurt. Oh god, doing the splits. 48 percentiles on that. Wait a sec. Destroyer. Oh no, gets caught by that. Yo, by the way, Xander can still play in losers. Can somebody let him know? Yeah, Xander, you you, you got DT from the winners match. Don't worry. You still win. Xander, if you're out there, you can still play your losers matches and make it into the top eight for tomorrow. And there's a uh, hundred dollars on the line, and also there's a mystery prize provided by Flossie Carter. In case anybody was uh, wondering what what's on the line here, there's a hundred bucks and a mystery prize. So listen, it could be the iPhone 20. I don't know. But he knows right now. Wow, but this is very unfortunate. Voyager's Revenge is getting comboed. If this leads into set play, he's gonna be in a very daunting position. Wow, he stays alive, Caboose! I can't believe it. Voyager's Revenge is still in this destroyer. Oh my god, just play it safe! Just play it safe! He's gonna open him up! Oh, he needs to confirm those into the big damage! This is getting way too dangerous. He teleports invisible. He's gonna get the combo confirmed here. Blackberry holding on to his meter. I don't know why, because this hurts. And he's gonna go into the sector. Oh no. Good throw from Blackberry. He's gonna get screamed. No breaker for Voyager's Revenge. This could potentially oh, this be gonna hurt. death. 36% into the setup now. Destroyer. The pressure is unbearable. Tried to go in, bitch. Oh, wait. Something. He's still no, alive. it's He's still not alive. gonna work. Oh, GG. Blackberry taking it there. Destroyer wasn't able to get the fatal off, so unfortunately, Voyager's Revenge loses that set. Make sure you guys report your scores on Star GG. Just report it as a 2 1 um, because we accidentally set it to first to two. But it is first to three. It is first to three. It is first to three. Yeah, oops. Sorry. <laughs> listen, we're, sorry about it. Listen, sorry. sorry it. We're really bad tournament organizers. I don't know what to tell you. But uh, let me just, just go ahead and take a look at the brackets real fast and make sure everything's on track because right now the lower side is not looking too pretty. Uh, it looks like a lot of... It, listen, I'm going to tell you right now. If you're in any pool and, you're, and you decide to play your loser's match... You might have a free shot to get into the top eight, like literally for free. So <laughs> yeah. one of y'all need to play. Just somebody play to get into the top eight. Because if you do get into that top eight, there's $100 on the line. And there's a mystery gift from Flossie Carter. And those of you who don't know who Flossie Carter is, uh, the dude is 1 million plus YouTube subscribers on YouTube. The guy's been doing uh, tech reviews for since the dawn of the dinosaurs. And... He's got a lot of stuff to give away. And, you know, the dude... A lot. Yeah, he partnered up with me, and I'm definitely grateful. Big shout-out to Flossie Carter. Because of all the craziness that happened getting this whole tournament started up, I completely forgot about it. So, definitely play your matches, guys. Get into the top eight. Win some free stuff. I mean, what else do you want? Oh, wait, wait, wait. She did just that, just that. You keep complaining and yelling in the chat about... 
lag in your match that you won Bro, in first Inter of Sports all, North look, all I'm gonna say, even if he was cheated, there's certain ways to go about things. We're all humans here. Like, don't, be don't, don't be pulling up like you freaking Conan the Barbarian. You feel me? Like, chill out. Be respectful. Be respectful. Chill out, bro. Like, we, we're here to help you guys. We want everybody to have a so nice, smooth experience. And it's online with 100 plus people with three people running it. Like, I'm sorry if things don't go the way you want it to, man. I really am. They, they're still talking about how there was lag in there, but you won the match. Why does it matter if there was lag? You won. So what did you want us to do beyond that point? All you got to do is you won, submit your scores. So if anything, you can you can deliver some salt to this person. Beat them in the head of laggy connection. Be proud of yourself. And, and, and to say that you were in chat several times being nice, you're in the, the Twitch chat room, the place where it's hardest for us to see any sort of support or feedback that you might need in this tournament. We got a dedicated Discord server for this, and Star GG has a dedicated support system that you could have reached out to the admins to. You went to the, the place that it was hardest for us to respond, to complain about a match you won and didn't report the scores to. It is entirely, 100%, unequivocally, your fault. And nobody else, you are not cheated, it's your fault. We're going to move on from this topic, and we're not going to talk about it again. You can enter next week and do it right, and then we can see what you got. All right? Sounds good? There's eight weeks of competition. We're just getting started. Moving on. Again, sharp eye here and full auto. We've seen full auto before. I mean, full auto. Someone is a is a name familiar. Yeah, full, full auto is a name familiar, and I like how he's continuing the legacy with uh, Sindel. You know, this guy was was making some serious noise back in Mortal Kombat 11 with this character, and to see him coming back with the Totona Susia is juicy. Nicely done there. Sharp eye, actually, with this Liu Kang Kung Lao setup. That's looking to be the chip out, but wait a sec. Well, wait a sec. Oh, good stuff there, actually. Sharp eye. Having a sharp eye. Playing nice and quick. Setting up the Kung Lao, but then also catching Falado in the air as Sindel was floating forward. Yeah, wait a second. He's going to set up the low hat. Catches him with a jump. That was so smart. It looks like these players, I'm telling you, the more we get into this bracket, the more we're going to start seeing the, the game get a little more serious, you know? Uh, oh, nicely done. That forward floor is so tough to wake up against because those two hits come out so quick Hold on. and they shut down the arm. S since we're running a little behind right now, let's have Thursday and Poseidon play their match off stream. Right, Thursday and Poseidon. Yeah. Have Thursday what? and Poseidon play their match off stream and then we'll try to do uh, Hella Larry versus Plus is not real if they're playing. So... Oh, I think Chapasso was here, by the way. So Chapasso started the match with the uh, Parzival. Okay, so let let them play that. They play that. They're playing that out. Where am I looking for? Uh, should I DQ Tigers entirely on the loser side as well? Yeah, I don't think he's playing. DQ him. And let me just tell these guys to play. Let me just tell Poseidon. Yeah, you got that. Yeah, I got that. Poseidon and what was the other guy? Thursday. Uh, Thursday, correct. So they're gonna play the play match off stream. Off stream. Yes. But okay, here we go. We're getting now into game two with Sharp Eye and Full Auto. I think this is a really interesting match to destroy. And I actually like now what Full Auto has done, switching over to the Sub Zero cameo. Because against Liu Kang, that zoning pressure, that full speed zoning pressure, is really tough to deal with. But having the Sub Zero cameo gives you a bit of a parachute, a little bit of a safety net to fall back on. Hey! He's screaming! He's at. <laughs> oh, he did it, Gaboo. How he did it? Uh, he went. No, 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 no. He said. Oh. Yeah. Dude, Discord, Discord can't even handle the high frequency, so you cut off it. All I hear. It's like the title of me. The title of me. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's too good. <laughs> okay, full auto taking that first round there. Looking like the cameo switch is helping out quite a bit here, actually. Destroyer. Beautiful, that's what I like to see. Oh, wait a second. Sweet. Oh, 
Wait a second. Is NVM Spider here? Sub-Zero cameo on lockdown, just trying to uh, eat all the projectiles. Wow, look at this. Just jumping back, trying to keep it real safe. Odi Fulano definitely turned the uh, entire game plan around, man. This is looking a lot more zone heavy here. You're right, you're right. I mean, it, that's that's exactly, I think, what he needed right now was that cameo switch to Sub-Zero to allow him to play some full screen pressure of the zone. This really, this makes it a very difficult matchup for Sharpie because now Sharpie is in a position where he has to close the gap. Yeah, already tying it up one to one. You know, Caboose, one thing I've noticed about Mortal Kombat 1, a lot of these players are like, even Stevens, there hasn't been a single 3-0 like wash. You know what I'm saying? Like you play games like Mortal Kombat X and this, everything is so much more different. Mortal Kombat 1, I feel like everyone's got some equal footing to an extent. Yeah. You're absolutely right on that, Destroyer. Yo, can we take off uh, Burrito and MV off stream? Okay. Because I think they've been held up for a minute. How do I... Uh, how do I, I did it, I did I did I did it. A burrito and M NVM Spider player match. Here we go now, Destroyer. Full auto, still managing that full screen pressure. The heart explodes though. And now, oh, okay, Shark by Both of these guys now using the Sub-Zero cameo. I like that. Both of them are in a position where they're either going to try and zone as much as they can or are forced to close the gap. I like that setup there into the Sub-Zero cameo. This is where things are going to get really tricky, really smart now. Yes, so juicy. Yeah, real foot speed. Watch out for the zoning. Okay, Sub-Zero cameo set up with the splits in the air and full auto takes the round. Let us finish this. And also, can we get word on uh, on pool number two, Flow Gang, and I'm your alpha? What's up with that? Are these guys here? Flow, Flow is in the chat. It looks like they're. Oh, is their match accidentally set to on stream? No, they, like they started they, it. No, can they play on stream? I don't know. If it's green, that means it started, right? No, no, no. Trying to get them to play on stream. Okay, hold on. Very nice stuff right now from Sharp Eye. Oh, yeah. No, they're both using the Sub Zero uh, cameo. I just realized that. It's like neither of them wants to get zoned out, and they both want to just uh, do their thing. All right, they're both in the, in the Twitch chat. You guys are going to be on stream, all right? Yeah, yeah. I, I hit them up in the Discord. Too. Looks like should be good. And then I think between them and. Uh, Hella Larry and Plus is not real. That should get all the, the matches to get into top eight ready for us to, to go, and we'll be good. There you go. Oh, nicely done there. Wait a sec, Destroyer full auto gonna yeah. connect the fatal blow. That's gonna be the game. He goes, Whoa. Did you hear him? <laughs> Did you hear what he said? He said. He said. He said. He said. Wait, 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 wait. And then he said. Then he said. You take, you take it. Easy. You take it. Oh, no, you gotta take it. Easy. You understand? You understand about about we gotta take it easy? <laughs> you understand about that? Yo, fall back, kid. So you don't understand? Fall back, kid. So, Alright, listen here. You listen right here, alright? 
Okay. Do me a favor right. and fall back. Uh, my bad. <laughs> my desire yeah, those are the uh, the last two matches until we start doing the, the other ones. So everybody, play your matches. Uh, and Thursday and Poseidon, play your match. Very nice stuff here. Okay, wait a second. He's got him with a crazy air combo. 342 into corner set play. What is it going to be? He floats in the air, smacks him with a split kick. Yo, Fulano's got some sauce, bro. I don't know about this pick from Sharp Eye. He went with the Scorpion Motaro. I yeah. definitely wasn't expecting that. I wouldn't have been able to call that either. That spear actually is not going to be able to connect full screen either. So long as Colado has the Sub Zero cameo active. But wait a second now. Looks at the cross up. Not going to find it. Now Sharp Eye finds himself in the corner against Colado Sindel. Didn't get the throw to connect. Oh my god. Looking for pressure. If he gets one combo, that could have been it, bro. He was looking for the there entire. We go. That's going to be a fat punish. He's got three bars of meter to work with here. And I feel like Scorpion can. Oh, wait. Fatal blow? Straight into fatal blow. Is this actually gonna be enough? I don't think so, but this might help out with the scaling. He probably wanted to try as little hits as possible right. just to get the maximum damage output here. I think that's uh I mean, but yo, think about it. He could go with the full Motaro cameo. Oh no, he got Sindel. Yeah, I gotta be so careful right now. Gonna get caught. Oh, oh but the breaker! But the breaker! Motaro? He can't use it oh, yet. Oh no! Caught by the hair. No, that was tough. Really good stuff though. Quick on his feet there, Sharp Eye, with the with the breaker. But this is a, a really tough position to be in right now. Against Full Auto Sindel out of a fatal blow. Wow. And he lost the round. And now Full Auto is about to pop off here with nearly 40% destroyer off this combo. He's 39 and the pressure continues. Here we go. Punish incoming. What's Sharp Eye gonna do? Needs to find the momentum. Needs to find it now. I want my money and I want it now. Now, now. Uh, gotta watch out there. You cannot connect Spear when the Sub Zero cameo is active. Oh, watch the range. The sweep connects. This could spell the end. Destroyer. Very nice. Is Sharp Eye gonna make the comeback of a lifetime? He could. He, he can definitely do it. He could definitely do it. He cannot afford another not poke. And there it is. For the poke, and he does. Fulato will take the set three to one. Oh, oh no. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that is so menacing. The way Sindel's just walking up to this guy. Like, with all your limbs as her hair just holding it. And then she just rips out your entire spine. Like, bro, what is this? The Predator? She walks up to you, she what goes, is this, the and then she pulls out your spot. <laughs> All right, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, what did you just say, kid? Nothing, what did I say? What, what did happened? you just say, kid? Watch your mouth. Uh, hey, my bad, Watch my your bad. mouth. Don't you ever say that in your life ever again. My bad, my bad. All you right, better watch right, your right. mouth. All right, all right, all right. You, you, you watch your mouth right there. How about that? How about that, huh? Huh? Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to yell. Uh, okay, here we go. We got the next match underway, which is Hella Larry versus Plus is not real. Let's get those invites as fast as possible. I love that name. <laughs> what? Plus is not real. That's a pretty good name. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Oh, Shao Kahn? All right. Now we talking real big bodies. This is Big Body Bess so in the much. building. They both reject you. My siblings are dead to me, Melina. He said, I don't I like the way you right smell, you. Melina. He said, Melina, you smell like poo. Now, why would Shao say that? That's the only thing that I'm going to do. Why would he say that? That's how he does it. Well, but I, the only thing I'm wondering is why he's saying that. Yo, all 
Also, I just want to give a massive shout out to Tarot Temptress for holding it down in the support because, oh my God. We appreciate you. I swear. Yo, Tarot Temptress, if you're watching, if you're hearing this, I'm taking you out to Red Lobster, <laughs> Five Guys, Caboose, what's your favorite restaurant? Uh, the Giovanni's Pizza. Giovanni's Pizza. Yo, she holding it down big time. Whoa, he's gonna wake up with the knee, completely putting Hella Larry back in his place. He's probably thinking to himself, oh, can she slap? Oh, I was just thinking that right now. The Destroyer, oh. how, how you still feeling about Shao? I know this is your, your boy. I mean, post bloodbath, he's still looking good. Shao Kahn's looking better than ever. He really didn't get touched this patch. And, uh, you know, I think the character was already in a, in a strong spot. And then you nerf some of the top tiers. That just puts him, you know, in a higher spot. So, and, and would no, no complaints. No complaints. Would you say the Sub-Zero cameo is a good fit for the character? Or is this just a matchup specific thing? Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. I think Sub Zero is a good fit for the character because <laughs> if he touches you, he can confirm into ice. And once he confirms you into the ice freeze, he's able to buff up his axe. He's able to smack you with an entire back two combo with the axe buff up. And it's an easy guaranteed 40 plus. And, you know, on top of that, you also get the, the ice armor. You don't got to deal with zoning. I say it's kind of a really good pick. If not Lao. Kano and Sub-Zero are like strong seconds for this guy in terms of best cameo. Hell, okay, I think okay. even Lau, I don't think Lau is his best cameo at this point. Like seeing the stuff Plus is Not Real is doing with the Sub-Zero. Seeing the stuff Dylock was doing with the, the Kano. It's like, bro, Shao Kahn's got a lot of options when it comes to cameo uh, diversity. I love that. This is a really fun character to watch as well. I mean, you got the whole stance switch situation with the back. Really fun stuff that you can do with Shao Kahn, or sorry, General Shao, I should say, in this game. And there we go right now. Plus is not real. Taking that first round against Hella Larry. Holding on to the corner as Larry is trying to fight back with this Melina Lao combo in that new Halloween skin for Melina, which looks sick, by the way. We'll watch out for the overhead. Catches the low. Gets the axe back in his hand. Ooh, but gets hit by the armored wake up. And now Larry is going to take the corner. What's the pressure? Uh, the pressure is don't push. It's not real. Don't push your button. Oh, that's a big punish inch coming now, Destroyer. Look at that. Into another axe setup. Dirty, dirty stuff right there. 43 percentile. Activate sub cameo. We get caught once again by the wake up. Larry can make a comeback here. Gotta be extra careful. Hold on, we're just uh give me one second. Oh no. Destroyer. Oh, but the armor mid hit. And plus is not real is gonna take that game. Very nice stuff, man. This dude is literally dishing out the pain. I mean, Shao Kahn is making a statement. I'm sorry, I'm just making sure these guys are running their stuff. I got you. Uh, who the hell is Arroz con Leche? It was a mistake to show you mercy. Plus, it's not real looking real juicy with this Shao Kahn right now, bro. Activates the ice armor real. right off rib just so he can get up close and personal. Look at the spacing in this in this guy's play. I am loving this right now. He's going to get opened up with the Melina shenanigans. She's got him locked down in the corner. Wait a second. Oh, very nice. Here we go now. Plus is not real. Continuing this pressure. Okay, but good stuff to armor through the middle of that string. Larry trying to take this round and looking like he's going to do so. Nicely done there with the Molina. Still maintaining the corner as well. Beautiful there. Plus is not real. Oh, good. 
Persian too. Timing there is tight. Okay, Ella Larry is Ella wake up happy. At one point or another, but it's not real is gonna stuff that. So you gotta be real careful to get extra juicy, extra whiskey with your wake ups. Yeah, you're not lying about that. Look at this combo pressure right now. Hello, Larry's gonna break her. He's still alive. Melina hits hella hard. Oh, here we go now. Oh, flawless block. Okay. Hello, Larry. Wanna keep up that pressure. Oh, careful finds an opening. But is it opening up the combos just yet? Destroyer. The wow. fatal blow is on deck, though. You gotta be so careful. If well, even, 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 if, he, even, this round, even if he confirms a fatal blow, it wouldn't have been a problem because he had that uh that breaker available. Oh, you're right, you're right. Yeah, plus now we always have all the all the meters. Full stick of butter now, y'all. Two stick of butter now, y'all. There we go. Big 30% into the setup now. Two stick of butter now, y'all. That is the plus real destroyer. Oh my goodness, armor straight through. Slams the axe down. Look at this corner combo. We're looking at 33%. 33 pipos. 33 pipos, not enough ship it is. And now Larry gonna answer back with a 30, oh, 42% combo. Wow. Beautiful stuff. 42% one bar? Can we get a non-stop 42% one say, bar? Say, say 42% one bar? 42%, oh, look at that setup. <laughs> that was sick. Oh, the teleport! Hello, Larry is in a position to make something happen here, Caboose. Holding on to that. No. Kung Lao. Oh, it doesn't connect. What? And he was still in range to get punished. Man, that's got to be negative 10,000. Plus, it's not real. Takes the set off of punishing the fatal blow activation. Really unfortunate scenario there. Larry thought he had a quick little read going to want to just throw the fatal blow out there, get a quick 33, 35%. Unfortunately, it looks as though plus is not real, was ready for it and was able to completely stuff it. And that'll be that destroyer. That was a crazy set. You think you think he's real? I think he's real, but I don't I don't know if the plus is real. I mean, look at this. I just remembered we had replays. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yo. Oh, my God. I just remembered guy. we had replays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, guy, this guy was not ready on deck with the, uh, the production. <laughs> Yo. Oh. Yo, somebody got to fire Spanky Doodle. We, I'm ready to fire this guy. I do, I've been telling you for years now that I want to get rid of Spanky Doodle, so I'm looking for any reason. Yo, we right. forgot we had replays almost to the end of the stream. That's this messed whole up. whole time, eh? That's crazy. I'm, listen, I'm sorry I didn't give you guys a full production experience, but uh, the next match here is going to round up our uh, winner's finals because after this... Right, we get some merch on deck now for the people. We're gonna, go, we're gonna put it all back towards our tournament. But okay, guys, here we go now. We got Flo facing off against none other than I'm your Alpha. And yeah, I can imagine this was tough for you. I've seen a whole lot of underscores. It's me, I'm your Alpha. That must have been really tough for you to type that up. It's me, I'm your Alpha. Both these guys just underscore city in their PSN name. Yeah, you know, it's me. I'm your Alpha. John Rambo, I'm your Alpha. Hey, John Rambo. Hey, me, John Rambo. I'm your Alpha. Right, right. Take it easy. All right, let's see what happens here. Uh, hopefully, we can get this tournament moving. But after this, if everything goes as according to plan, we should be getting into the winner's finals of these pools. And we do want to get them all streamed. But depending on how long that might take, we might have to cut some of them out. Okay, nice breaker. I just, we just got to stay on top of the loser side. Make sure that stuff is, is moving. Wow. Look at this craziness right now, bro. Teleports to the oh, other side, but he's going to get clipped for it. Yeah. And this is another smoke sector. It seems like this is a very popular pick when it comes to these uh, characters. 
At the end of the day, I think what a lot of people are looking for out of their cameos is just the opportunity to set up and pressure your opponent. That's what was so good about Cyrax, and that's where there is some potential in Sector. And oh, going in Viz, but gets caught there. Under Alpha now has the corner and the Serena cameo. It's gonna hurt and could potentially spell the end of the round. Indeed it will. Good connection there. Still continuing the combo. Actually, that's the game. 46% for I'm Your Alpha. That was really good. Uh, in pool number four, is Papa Cap playing? Pool four, let me see. Because uh, I think I think I think Voyager is, is is definitely still playing, but is Papa Cap playing? That's been sitting there for thirty minutes. Yeah, these people need to let us know what's going on. My let me goodness. see if I can get in contact with Papa. All right, who won that last match? The Ashra? Who was it that taught you? Uh, yes. Zhao Xin, the Lin Kuei's Elder Arcanist. Does it look laggy at all to you, or is it okay? Flo was, Flo was saying that their opponent has a pretty high ping on their end, but it looks okay from an army like that. I mean, I, I don't see anything wrong, but sometimes the connection can be very deceiving. Who's the, who's the one with the bad connection? So Flo sent the picture in the Discord of Alpha's connection. I mean, they're playing fine. Looks okay to me. And he's blocking every single overhead imaginable! Oh my god, this guy Flo Gangs is a gangster for that! Did you just see that sequence, bro? Insanity, destroyer. Insanity. I mean, I don't care what anybody says. If you block in five of Ashra's overheads in whatever ping, it's gotta be good. Because I can't, I can't block that overhead in good ping. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I gotta agree with you. I think we're gonna. Yo, what I'll do um, for week two. I'll put a I'll put a video out on Twitter and I'm gonna be very strict about the uh, connectivity issues and stuff like that. Because I mean, look, the most me and Caboose can do is set the rules in place. Now, if you guys just want to come in here and, and and you know crap all over what we're trying to do for the community and just play it with bad connection and God knows what else, there's not much we can do about it, man. Unfortunately, that's the situation, right? Like, I, we can't control what your opponent's connection is in the matches that are not on stream, you know. All right, hold on. I'll, I'll hold it down. I gotta do some stuff in the bracket real quick. No worries. The only way that we can do anything, honestly, guys, is if there's a problem with the connection and there's a ver like a way you can verify that your opponent is actually not in North America, then that that's a different scenario, right? But if you're playing in a game and your opponent's lagging, like what? It, just try to explain to me, enlighten me as to what I could possibly do to help. You know what I'm saying? But okay. Anyways, here we go now. In this match, Alpha. Already has a round up and is looking to take another game into the fatal blow. That is rough. Blow was maintaining and controlling for a second there, but just gets caught by one opening. And that's game two now going to Alpha up 2 0 against Flow with the fatal blow. That's 53 percentile. Oh, is that? Is that a little T-Bag? I thought you were going to say, was that a little lag? <laughs> no, no, no. I was going to say, DQ him! That was a little, uh, did you see that that little uh, little taunt? Hey, sometimes you got a teabag. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Sorry. All right, all right, that's my fault. Well, I'm your alpha of two games to zero right now. This tournament has had a lot of Ashras, and I I kind of feel like we're gonna be seeing a lot of Ashras nowadays, man. We should change the, should change the name to I'm your Ashra. Champions of the Ashra? Champions of the DQ, actually, more likely. Yeah, it's your champions of the DQ. Don't rub it in my face, though. Let's go now, alpha. Continuing with the insane momentum that they've had this entire run so far, up to O, and there we go. The neutral drop cross up is gonna connect. Beautiful. 
the full damage. Look at that, Destroyer. 42% in the corner. My goodness. My goodness. Sets up the darkness. Holy smoke, dude. That is brutal. What a sequence. Yo, let me ask you something. Have you seen um, Melina with uh, Scorpion yet? I have not seen that. Actually, yes, I have seen that. I saw that pre... I don't know if there's any changes from the patch from that, but, like, that's a strong combo, man. Super strong combo, and she's hitting, like, so much damage for no reason. Disgusting damage, yeah. Armor's through. Flo looking to steal just a bit of the momentum here with Smoke. Needs to find an opening. Okay, there we go. Gets something to land. Half Alpha is just playing this full screen game, waiting for Flo to get in and make a mistake. Oh no. Almost got caught. Staying alive here. Jump for the teleport and the zoning here destroying. It's like mid screen zoning too. And that'll be that. Alpha taking it into the fatality. Oh, no. Oh, I don't think I've seen this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh! Wow. Yeah, that was a... That was a pleasant. Well, that's going to do it. Uh, he's going to be taking it. Three games to... Uh, was that zero? That was 3-0. Was that three games to zero right there? I mean, Caboose, you, we take a look at that that replay here. The dude was in just full control of everything, you know? It, it, he's incredibly strong. Incredibly strong. Yeah. And then look at that. Like you said, the tea bags into the Fatal, into the Wakataka Pintus Berries. You love to see it. I mean, I think you're right, too. When you We're getting into the nitty-gritty, Destroyer. We're getting into some of the matches that are going to take these competitors into the top eight right. for this Friday. Hey, hold on. So on top... What's up? I'm going to call my brother live on stream. Oh, all right. Here we go. Competitors are in. We should be good. Yeah, we should be. Hopefully. Yeah, that's the number one question. We should be. All right. Let's get it. I see a Kung Lao. Interesting. Well, Chopasso. Chopasso going with, with the a very, Kung Lao a very Goro. Bold pick. It's a little unorthodox. And Paul's with the Johnny Striker, no Johnny Lao. He said, hey man, have you seen my premium skin, Dimitri Vegas? Wait, no, nah, he's got the wrong game. <laughs> he got the wrong game. Right, he says, here we go, hey, prayer. man, you seen my new skin, Dimitri Vegas? First winner's final match is underway. And it looks like apparently, according to the scores that you set there for a second, Chapazzo was up 3-0. What happened? I had to revert it. Okay, here we go. Look at this now, Destroyer. Utilizing the Goro cameo, showing off some fun tech. A nice 35 percenter. I like seeing some different characters here in this tournament. That's the fun of running these tournaments. That's the fun of running Champions of the Realms. And you see so many different corners of the MK community and so many different competitors, different players. And there are a lot of different characters. Here we go into this Fatal Blow combo, but the Breaker was at the ready. Ball staying alive. Wow. Be really careful. Gets caught by the hat. Wait. Caboose. Oh, no. Caboose. It pairs. Oh, wait. Caboose. What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm your alpha winning against Gurr? No shot. Is that real? I, I mean, I don't want to be like... A scumbag or anything, but can we double check? Oh my god. As Chapasso down to his pulse into another dimension. What, what pool is that in? Uh, let me tell you right now, that is in pool two. Did they both confirm? I mean... Looks like it. Wow, look at this combo right now. Pulse ending it with a nut punch. Gets him with the jump in. Tries to mix him up with the overhead. Uh, yeah, I assume it's real. Gur is playing his next match on the loser side. Okay, well, hey. Giving him the Kanugi. 
Tossing him like a salad up to the other side of the screen. The Goro literally looking like a Halloween prop in the background. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Nicely done. Has, on anybody, has anybody ever told you you look like Havoc? You know, they said that a couple times. I took him straight to Giovanni's. And you know what You know what Garrus said? What'd he say? He said, Fail. A doubt. Complain about my match. Wow. Yeah, I know. He's really specific. Oh, nice good punish. shadow kick. I mean, Pulse is doing a really good job at staying alive in this set and, you know, having a a good little life lead here. Wait, what am I talking about? Chibasa is the one with the fat life lead. Unbelievable. This guy's not caught up. Oh, I'm not even watching the there. match. Armory through. Oh, look at this combo here, Destroyer. That was so clean. Chibasa showing up some fun packs. Oh, Lau and Goro. I like that. We haven't seen anything like this all night. Goro's a really interesting cameo character, Destroyer. What do you think? I think he's insane. The only thing that uh, prevents me from, like, really delving into Goro's uh, kit is the cooldown, man. I feel like, you know, you got to be very pinpoint accurate yeah. with the Goro timings and placements because if you call Goro and you mess up your pressure or, you know, Goro decides to go full screen and swing at, the, at, at a demon or a ghost... That's that's a lot of like resource gone. I feel, you know, he takes forever to cool down. If you use two Goros in like one round, it literally takes like almost thirty seconds to get him back completely. Yeah, if he were to come back and has a quicker cool down, he could be probably one of the strongest, or one of the strongest cameo characters yeah. in the game. But at the same time, when you got Goro going up against, uh, when you got Kung Lao using Goro, then I feel like it kind of changes everything because he gets access to that. He gets access That's to a so safe nice. armor. No, it's a it's a plus on Glock armored launcher special is what he gets access to. It's pretty that, crazy. That's pretty bananas. It is real crispy, real juicy. Nice throw. Yo, why Sub Zero's neck look like that in the background? What happened to him? Oh, you didn't, you didn't hear what happened? He got spinal surgery. <laughs> They compressed it. He said to the doctor, he said, Doctor, I don't want no more neck anymore. They turned this man into a pancake. And the doctor said, say less. They turned my boy into a pancake, bro. Here we go now, Destroyer. Look at this corner pressure here from Pulse with the striker. 2-1-2 connects and a breaker now from Chapasso. Needs to get out of there. He finds an opportunity to. It's to breathe for a second. Oh no, this is gonna hurt and could spell the end. Destroyer, what happens here now? And there it is. The overhead striker connects all quickly. Bring it. Taking that game. Yeah, going up two games to zero and Chobot. Oh, wait, what? didn't Chopasso win that last game? I think it's 1 1. You're lying. I think it's 1 1 Destroyer. Yeah, because I saw. So wait, yeah. so so it's three oh pulse. <laughs> pulse is up two oh. So a three oh pulse then. Alright. No, it's one one. I chat, don't gaslight me. I definitely saw the windscreen with Goro and Kung Lao. And that reminded me to be like, oh Goro's a, a good cameo character in this game. What do you think, Destroyer? Alright, so Pulse won the set. GG's everybody. Alright, you know what? I agree with Paradox. It's six four. You know what? Oh! Wow, I just realized something. Oh! Pulse just won the game 3 0. <laughs> too much. 36% there, Destroyer. Look at this pressure. The striker cameo is actually really solid here for Johnny. But then again, it just feels like Johnny is just a solid character. So you pair him with any cameo that's somewhat good. Well, bro, yeah, such a great pairing. I, I'm kind of surprised that uh, Pulse isn't sticking with the Kung Lao cameo because as far as I'm concerned, I'm pretty sure it's still kicking, right, chat? I think that's the ultimate. We saw chat. it earlier today. And I mean, yeah, it's, it's pretty unstoppable. Chat, is Kung Lao cameo still like out of control? Great reaction, by the way, from Pulse. Every time Chapasso tries to utilize the 
projectile throwing the hat. Pulse just meter burns with the kick, getting the damage and winning the trade. Look at this now. Turret's 29%. Gets the setup off the neutral jump. Catches the low into overhead with the striker. Striker nice. comes in again with another overhead. When is it ever your turn? Oh, and there's the parry, but wait. Wow. found the opening. Okay, go for the dive kick. Not gonna connect. There we go. That one does. Flawless block. Oh, the chip. And there it is. Low poke will do it. This is what's so scary about playing Bring against it. someone who's so confident with Johnny Cage. Is you don't know when it's your turn. Like, yeah. you do not know genuinely when it's time for you to be allowed to press buttons. His recovery on all his strength are so fast that you're just sitting there holding block all day. Bro, I, 10, I, I, I literally um, preach about this all the time. Like, listen, if Johnny K, I'm going to just give you all the scenarios this dude can jail you into uh, forward three. Well, not jail, but lock you down. He can do standing one, smack you with forward three right after. He can do forward one, smack you with forward three after. He can do one, one, smack you with forward three after. This dude has so many different options to just get his relentless pressure started on you. And I don't want to say it's brain dead because the character is like, I feel like you got to have some... It does require an element yeah, some, some good neutral. But once he touches you, since he has so many different options to start that that Johnny pressure going yeah. and then pair it up with a good cameo. I mean, the way Pulse has been utilizing this striker. Oh, this is making me think, bro. This is, this is pretty juicy. It's pretty juicy, and I would even argue this a little bit. Right, Dolly? Right, Dolly. Right, juicy, right, Dolly, right, Quisby. Okay, nice throw. That's going to connect and escape though there from Pulse. And this is what we're saying, too. You know, you just got to gotta make that gap to greater and greater for Johnny. And then once he tries to force himself in, that's when he needs to find the opening. Good trade there for Paul. Actually, kind of a winning trade for Tapasso, giving the life lead. But here we go now. Armor's through. Okay. That's what's going to help uh, Chapasso, I think, the most is armoring through that pressure and getting full combo, essentially, off of that when he comes into the Goro cameo. So, yeah. Oh, nicely done there. The carry to switch sides, and now Pulse begins the onslaught. Oh, there's the plus frames. Goes with the down poke. And I think nice. he did the, the far Goro to hit him, like, furthest away from the body to just get more plus frames. Because if you space out some of these uh, cameos, man, I'm telling you, that frame data is going to be looking different. But beautiful stuff My from goodness. Pulse. Looking to close this out here and now. Up two games to one against... Wow. So Anti-aired by the striker. With the 27%. Throw is going to connect. Chapasso stuck in this corner. Needs to get out. There it is. Armor's through. Into the combo. Finds an opportunity. That's going to be a nice 30%. Okay, catches the low. Wow, that was from distance. Oh, that was disgusting. A wake up parry. Bro. Is that what you can call it? It's a parry, right? Yes, yeah, the one in the middle, a parry. And Pulse utilizing it so well, he just no. got around the, the dreadful wake up Lao Goro combination with that. Okay, Look down to Wow. Just throwing anything out there at this point. Oh, and the chip damage is going to do it. Lisa. When is it your turn? You just <laughs> have to hold Bring that. It. That is so tough to deal with. This character is incredibly strong in this game still. I would be very surprised if through the entire eight weeks of tournament play, he doesn't end up getting a nerf somewhere in the middle. I was going to say, can you believe he survived the uh, onslaught, bro? I, I, I don't can even know Can you believe how? he survived the onslaught? I I don't even know how, but I mean, absolutely, bro, the, the reckoning is coming. The, the reckoning is coming. I mean, look at this pressure. Look at this pressure. He just has him locked down in the corner. Use the striker to get the plus 7,000. This dude did the double down <laughs> one because he could do whatever he wants. Chopasso was literally losing his marbles here. He had no idea what was happening, bro. Unbelievable. Oh what, a, what a character, bro. What a character. And just like that, Pulse is going to be our first competitor, our first champion to get into that top eight. You're right. You're right about that. And it's on the winner's side. That is such a huge advantage. That's a big, that's a good position to be in. And remember, 
Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash caboose. You're going to see the top eight go down. There's going to be a mystery prize that Flossie Carter is providing whoever wins. And then also $100 that's going to be on the line. $100 each and every week. Mystery prize as well from Flossie Carter. And that all builds up and leads to our massive top eight after eight weeks of play to crown a champion of the realms for our first ever tournament for Mortal Kombat 1 Destroyer. It's been a great night so far. I've been having a ton of fun commentating alongside you. What's the next matchup? Going down the second match for winter finals. This should be a juicy one. I'm your alpha versus Cosner. Another player that did incredibly well at ECT, Caboose. Yeah. This dude went ham. Cosner went ham. He actually had, um, was it, was it rewind? He had somebody on the ropes. Chat, was it rewind? I can't remember. Hey, Cosner with the reptile. Again, more like different characters we're seeing in this tournament, which I'm very happy to see. It was, oh wait, yeah, someone said rewind. Yeah, the dude went crazy. I mean, it, it's oh, a Sonic? play. Some people were saying Sonic? Oh, wow. No, yes, rewind, yes, rewind. I mean, yeah, this is the Reptile. A lot of people have been talking about this Reptile. From the oh, oh, hey, armor's through. Oh, like it's pop of the wake up there, Alpha. Good stuff. Bro, this guy's Ashra is looking very strong. You said in the chat, where is Evolvo? Evolvo. Uh, I don't Evolvo. know where Evolvo is, but I did see Leyenda something, so I know. Leyenda? Yeah, Leyenda Carnage? Leyenda Hamoncito is his new name. Oh, okay. Oh, the Ashra clipping him. He trying to get the Lao to do something there. I don't think Cosner's playing like a slippery lizard. Yes, sir, gotta watch these combo drops. Ooh, armor through, but Kung Lao cameo. We're dashing in? Oh no. That's that nice pressure there to get out of the cloud can hold down on it. As I say that though, Alpha is able to take that first game. Leyenda Lanova says, yes, it's me, Leyenda Carnage. Oh, let's see what happens here. I'm your Alpha. It looks like he's on a new account. I don't like that. What, what's that about? Wait, what happened? He's on a level 16 account. Like, what, what's going on here? People be smurfing. So you telling me we got a uh, Big Daddy Smurf in here right now? We got Papa Smurf. All right, let's see what happens. I'm your Alpha. Going Dark on Arma one in game the chat. Zero. Hey! Shout out to Dark Arma. One of the first people. I, I gotta give a huge shout out to Dark Arma. He's one of the first people in the FGC to ever notice me as a commentator. Yeah, well, you're I lucky really because it. I'm surprised he noticed you. All right, I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he used the force ball to just get rid of the Serena. Tries to go for a down two, but no punish? I'm pretty sure that should have been punishable. This is honestly looking a little rough right now. I don't know what's going on. He runs up in his face, goes with the down throw. He's going to get a throw. Good this throw. Good throw. Too slow. This is definitely his chance to make something happen. He missed Cabal for that one and only reason. Cabal sack? Yes. Oh, he clipped him out of the air. Okay. Good full stream pressure here from Reptile of all people. But wait a sec. Alpha finds an opening. He's going to combo into the fatal. What's the damage? I don't think, Sorry, I think it hurts. I, yeah, I it think hurts, hurts, but I don't think this kills. No, it will not kill, but it's it's gonna do a lot. <laughs> Brutal, 50 percenter right there. Gotta make sure it's worth it though. Alpha needs to close out, and indeed Alpha wow. will. He's looking to go up two games to zero already. Let's see what happens. He's gonna charge up the blade. Beautiful armor Very right there nice. from Cosner. Going right underneath. Tries to go for the back two right, overhead. overhead. Uh oh. What side are we on, Destroyer? I have no idea. 
Wow, he really held on to that cool cameo. Nicely done. Here comes the corner pressure, though. Oh, beautiful. Oh, no. Beautiful combo. That was such a good setup there. He knew um, I'm Your Alpha was going to go crazy. And Cosner just kind of nullifying that situation. Uh -oh. Beautiful stuff. What's uh -oh. the Invis setup looking like? Invis setup, Destroyer. Yo, why he took so long to go invisible? Oh. He tried to go for the crocodile roll. Gets stuffed big time. 39%. Oh, the little low poke. Bro's going to connect. It's not going to be enough. He can definitely meet it here with a lot of options. And there it is. Try to teleport through the acid ball. It's not going to work. The rounds are all tied up. Destroyer, I think we got ourselves a set. Oh, we most definitely do. Cosner bouncing back. He's going to go for the crocodile death roll. He's kind of just working his way in there. I'm liking the use of uh, I'm your alpha, the, the, the special move that he's doing to just get all over the map. Big with punishing coming, never mind. Looks like Costner was in the air when that swing had started. Good patience. Indeed. They're kind of just whipping stuff full screen right now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. A button check mid match. He said, let me see if this move works. <laughs> in. So the neutral jump, the low connect, but no follow up off that. No the way. patience from both these competitors right now. Destroyer. I think Alpha is just running the clock too. A little bit of a life lead. And has a lot of real estate to play around with. That makes it very difficult for Costa. Okay, he's going to activate the slow acid ball. Bro, the fact, the, cap. the fact that this is still just game number two blows my mind. <laughs> oh, and this is it. Now an opening, but a drop combo. That's going to pay. Oh, that's going to cost him big time faster. Loses that one. Oh, is Alpha taunting? Alpha's trolling. I think I think Alpha's taunting a little bit. I, I remember Alpha in the last match we talked to him too. He was teabagging. He was a, a little, yeah, basically like a teabag. A little bit of confidence here, but let's see what Coster's going to do to answer. We might have to DQ this guy. Coster in the chat says, please fix forward 2-3 NRF. <laughs> All right, hold on. These guys pick their characters so fast that the announcers, like, they, they can't even keep up. Yo, hold on. Yo, is Burrito Voorhees here? He made it far. I mean, why would he not continue to play? Uh, let me see. Yo, somebody get in contact with Burrito. Yeah, we don't want somebody to have that long or go that far in the tournament run. Yeah, he can make top eight for Friday. Burrito can definitely make top eight for Friday. Okay, people, people are refusing to confirm their scores, which really holds up. Yeah, pool four. I, I, I'm, I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. Uh, okay. Okay, as we're saying, just go destroy her. Right now, Costner, in kind of a do or die scenario, wants to make that top eight, especially on the winner's side. Alpha, though, with a really strong opera. Let's see, what is Costner going to do here? So far, with the life lead playing this full screen game, this is essentially where we're going to be watching this set, it looks like. But okay, here we go now. Costner with an opening. Not able to close out that round, but does so with the Kungla cameo. Blackberry in the chat says that Burrito is in another tourney. Oh my why god. Would you, why would you do that? So do we wait for him? I don't know. I, I'm gonna, I'll hit him up in the Discord. All right. All right, really nice stuff. Causer right now looking to make a comeback here. Ooh, Death Row's out of there. Gets the anti air. Causer's dropping a run. This is gonna make me start squealing like a pig. <laughs> Oh boy, Destroyer. The zoning game, very unorthodox too. These are characters you don't traditionally look at as zoners. Very nice. 
Okay, we lost that up. Okay. Oh no. It's that okay. Just... It's okay. It's okay. Oh, he's gonna go off the breaker. I thought he'd save it for the next round. Cosner yeah, yeah. really confident in making a comeback there, but unfortunately gonna get shut down. Yeah, that's, that's three bars gone just like that. And here comes the combo. No, never mind. Alpha's not able to connect anything. Watch out for these acid balls. Okay, nice. The back four two. Cross up. Wow. I don't even think cross up was expecting that to connect. Unbelievable. Beautiful stuff. 37 percentiles off that. Melina left in the background. <laughs> yeah, tell Melina I said to stop. Okay, I'll let him know. Oh, wait. What just happened there? I don't even know what the exchange was. Okay, down to connect. Loud cameo. Oh, no. He didn't convert off of that air to air. Oh, and that's going to be it. With so tough about playing. That's crazy. That's crazy. This guy's serious? What's so tough about playing against Serena with Asher. Sorry, Asher with the Serena cameo is you get caught by those blades one time full screen. Full screen is a full combo punish. Yeah, that's, that's not cool. That's, uh, that ain't right. That's not cool. I mean, I feel like a lot of people are going to start abusing that, that special move from Ashra because, bro, you can literally just spam it. What's stopping you from spamming that move? Tell me right now. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, honestly. Like, it has, what, like, what a million hits of armor. And I saw something on Twitter now that on, like, the active frames of it, she can literally just do it, get armor, and do whatever the hell she wants. This is a full screen punish. You got to be kidding me, man. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. But hey, congrats to I'm Your Alpha teabagging their way to the top eight that's going to be going down on Friday over on my Twitch channel. That's twitch.tv forward slash caboose. Make sure you guys are there. You do not want to miss the action that's going to take place. It's going to be absolute insanity. We cannot wait to bring that your way, Destroyer. Tell me what we got up next. Perfect. Yo, th so like I was saying earlier, this is the match I'm most excited for. I don't know if Wise Gemini is going to decide to go for the Havoc, but that's what I'm hoping we see. If we get to see the Havoc with a little bit of uh, Shao Kahn, I think that should be interesting, bro. Ooh, Wise is rocking the Lu Jax, actually. Shades of the, uh, the MK1 beta. Am I FK? Wow, this should be good, man. Plus, is not real making it all the way to the winner's final with this Shao Kahn. That is some yeah. serious stuff. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, General Shao is a character to look out for, but look at this already with the setup. The he said, he said, Gemini. he said, you stole my milk. <laughs> I don't remember that intro dialogue, but okay, punish there. Wait, you don't remember that intro well. dialogue? Then you gotta watch yeah, my okay. latest video. Oh, I'll watch it. I'll watch it for you right now. You know what? Actually, you can just comment that. I'm gonna watch the video. Wow, look at that side switch. That was incredibly impressive. This corner. Good stuff here from Wise with the Liu Kang and Jax combo. Showing that it's still just as strong as it was two months ago in the beta. Wow, unbelievable stuff. Great pressure, good zoning. Why is Gemini popping off here? Even that, that disgust, disgusting monster back there. Ooh, whoa, Gemini. Uh, wait, wait, wait. They're playing the demonetization yeah. stage. Stop the match. Stop the match. Yeah, yeah. They're playing the demonetization stage. Uh, bro, 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 bro. You're making it worse. YouTube's going to think this is like some type of torture video. Chill. <laughs> All right, here we go. Look at this now. Plus, it's not real in the yeah. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> no, listen, listen, listen. With how much content creators cry out for them to put a uh, a family friendly mode in Mortal Kombat, they say, "All right, we'll give you a family friendly stage." <laughs> <laughs> Give me the most disgusting, gruesome stage you ever seen in your life. They said, you ever saw the movie Hostel? We were making a whole stage out of that. Oh, that was actually really smart stuff. It was not real. To deactivate the cameo that was incoming there for Wise, but he just wasn't able to get a full follow-up. Now, though, outputting a ton of damage. Has the corner. Hides, though. 
not good. Finds an opening though. Breaker here from Wise Gemini. He still has plenty of opportunity to make this comeback. I mean, getting stuck in the corner against Wu Kang with Jack Cameo is scary. Destroyer, but this is not real. Going into his way out of there, that is a really hard to avoid setup. Good stuff from Wise with the zoning right now. Timing those air projectiles perfectly to make sure that they land and the back two into the fatal off the uh, off the anti-air punish. What's the damage? Is that gonna be the end? Is that the end? Maybe. This is doing a lot. It oh my might just be no God magic wait. pixel. Bro. Oh, into the setup with Jax. That's going to do it. Wise Gemini taking that first game. I mean, how was he supposed to get out of that situation? I honestly have no earthly idea, Destroyer. What exactly he could have done there to avoid like that setup with the ground pound into the air projectiles. The... Just, just technically, the way you have to execute on that, you have to be so precise. And Wise Gemini makes it look easy. Wow. I mean, going up one game to zero here, plus is not real. Sticking with the Shao Lao, I respect it. I'd be curious to see if he has a Shao Kano in his pocket, because I feel like Kano is pretty dirty, man. Pretty juicy. Pretty juicy, pretty dog. Go. We'll project out connect. There's that setup once again. But it didn't work. Oh, wasn't able to fully execute. Okay, and the neutral duck off the grab into a big punish now for plus not real. Pushing Lou all the way towards the corner. Gets the low to connect, but misses the follow-up. Drops the combo. You cannot be doing that. This late into the competition, when your opportunity to get onto the winner's side of the top eight for this Friday is on the line, Destroyer. What does Plus do? Gets caught by the forward four into the spinning kicks. My question is, is how are these people not confirming their matches, bro? Yeah, seriously, guys, please confirm your scores. You both need to submit the score. Don't just wait for your opponent to do it. Don't just wait for us to do it. All right? You're all grown-ups. You're all adults. I know you're all very capable. No, okay. I, I, I advanced like seven people in the last two minutes. Yeah, like, come on. All right, here we go. Plus is not real. Fighting his way out of the corner right now. Why is Gemini? He's got a fully Jax. He's got a fully loaded Jax in his back corner ready to suplex uh, Shao Kahn out of the game. Oh, oh, oh. Is it suplex? No, it's a ground pound. Oh, another one! Oh my god! Jax is pulling up. He says, You want some of this? General Shao, this dude is gonna be <laughs> cooking up General Shao's chicken after this. Yo, this dude Jax pulling up with the suplexes all day, every day. What is Plus gonna do about this? He might have to throw on the Sub-Zero cameo. I'm not even gonna front. He might have to throw on the Sub-Zero cameo because the zoning is relentless from Wise Gemini. Brutal destroyer, my Whoa. goodness. Wise Gemini with this Liu Kang is pretty unstoppable. Liu Kang wins. What does he do? I mean, you just pray. That's it. You sit there. You order some Giovanni's pizza. Make sure you got it next to you. And then you pray. Okay. Really? That's it. That's so, all you can so do. So how do you pray? Just like, give me give me a little... How do you pray so I can start doing it? General you go... Fail. Adapt. Yes. Evolvo. Hi, you, you got it. It is a longer story than we have time. You got it. Uh, All right. Fight. Here we go now. Game three underway, Destroyer. Why is Gemini up 2-0 with this insane Liu Kang Jax combo? What if Plus is not real? Actually, okay. Plus switching over 
to the Sub-Zero cameo is probably the best that he can do in this scenario. Yeah, there you go. Coming into effect already. That is the only way you can avoid that setup right there. Or at least what best you can do to avoid it and find your way in. And yes, he doesn't actually get hit as well by the Jack's ground so pound, now, which is very key. So I feel like Plus was kind of testing it himself. So now that Plus realizes he can play neutral, full neutral with the ice uh, ice armor up, that changes the game. Oh no, the up block punish. You see, that that's why, man, with these cameos, Caboose, it's always a give or take, right? Like now, wow. he, now he doesn't have an ambush to make that axe drop safe, but he has the, the opportunity to kind of just run up and do whatever he wants with Ice Clone. I mean, let's that's see. what makes this so tough as well, like you said, because when you, when you play this game long enough, or when you play this character with that cameo long enough, you have, you're accustomed to a certain way of playing, and you don't realize that there's certain things you need to adjust to because well, you don't have the, the safety net that the Kinglock cameo offers you. And right now, Wise Gemini is running away with this. In the corner you go. Wow. Isn't able to activate the Sub-Zero cameo in time and just zones to death. Wise Gemini is a force to be reckoned with. This new Kang Jax is terrifying. I mean, dude, if his play at ECT was anything to kind of, uh, you know, branch off of, this kind of speaks volumes here. This dude is very consistent in his play right now, Caboose, and he's been proving it time and time again. Wise Gemini is definitely a player you want to watch out for going into the rest of this pro competition for Mortal Kombat 1. I mean, You're look at lying. the decision making here. Look at the decision making. He goes for the stagger, goes for buttons. He just had pluses not real in shambles. The overhead with the jacks blows him up with the projectiles like brother. What do you do when you got a savage wise Gemini on the prowl? My goodness, my goodness. That was some of the most impressive plays we've seen all night, Destroyer. Wise, I think, is going to be someone Yo, Spanky Doodle, stop really... the music! <laughs> wise is just someone that I think we all really need to watch out for come time for this top eight on Friday, Destroyer. Again, that's going to be going down on, it's gonna be going down on my Twitch channel twitch.tv forward slash caboose make sure you guys are there make sure you guys are ready 6 p.m eastern standard time i also put that reminder out for the players make sure you are ready at 6 p.m i don't want any scenarios of anybody who's made it into the top eight and then dqs for right. whatever reason right so, so all we need all we need is all we need is v loans psn and we can get this next time. Quit. oh man i would a german suit like <laughs> <laughs> all right here we go destroyer a Tanya, who's going to put it on you, against Blackberry's Sindel, who we've seen quite a bit of already. She said, Oye, mira, nene, mi nombre es Tanya. Yo va a ponerles Anya. Dame la leche. That's not what she said. Okay, here we go. No, she said yes. Yeah, she said okay. Wow. Oh, smacks in the face. That's going to be a 130% throw. I'm surprised I didn't get touched in the past. That's a lot of damage for a throw, bro. This real dude. 130? For a throw? Like. Hello? Hello. Not destroyer. Elon. With the insane pressure with Tanya holding onto the corner. You know, we've seen quite a quite a diversity of characters tonight. Yeah, we did. Honestly, we, we've seen quite a diversity of characters, but on top of that, I feel like we've been seeing a lot of uh Sindel. To be honest, there's been a couple of Sindels, and I think that there's been a lot of uh, a lot of Kung Lao cameos we've seen, um, and even Sub Zero cameos. It's been a common, like a common thread throughout tonight's uh, tournament play, which I find very interesting. I mean, like Sub Zero cameo is really key when you're playing against some of the zone heavy characters, and it looks like right now here, Elon was looking to activate. 
the ice armor to try and avoid the zone war that starts here from Blackburn, but there's the scream gonna connect, break her immediately. Okay, and there we go, ice armor now. Both of them got ice armor going, and now Zelone gonna find an opening, gets caught by that wake up. Oh, he's trying to pressure her. He's got the ice armor up. This is a very dangerous combo because I feel like Tanya, like we stated in the yes, like we stated in the beginning, she will put it on you when she gets up and, and close, man. That move right there specifically, the windmill sins, will really make you regret life. That, that, that brings fault out of me like nothing else. That move will really make you regret life, bro. Yeah. And there we go. Look at that. First game now going to Choppa's with Tanya. And she said, gonna put it on you. Tanya gonna put it on you, huh? Yeah. And sub Ziranya gonna put it on you. So wait, and that was uh, V-Lone that takes game number one? That was V-Lone that takes game number one with the Tanya, put it on you. Put it on you, Tanya, Tanya, put it on you, put it on you. Tanya, Tanya. Settle down. Settle down. Prarani, prarani, Tanya, 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 prarani. Settle down, kid. Tanya. Well, it looks like we're getting the same characters right back in the mix here. Okay. Game two underway now. Once again, another winner's finals match. Actually, the final winner's finals match. This is the final winner's finals match here. This is the one that's going to determine and round out, I believe. The winner's side of our top eight. Right now, we have Alpha, who will play against Wise Gemini. And Pulse awaits the winner between Blackberry and Velo Chapas here. When we get to that top eight this Friday on my Twitch channel, Twitch.tv slash the boost. We still got this set to get through here, Destroyer. And it's gonna be intense. Oh, it's gonna be a doozy for sure. Look at this pressure right now. He whips him with the hair. This is corner control 101 from uh, Mama Sindel. Good low projectile. I'm liking the footsies right now from uh, Blackberry. Gets the There's ice armor here. and there There's it the is. You think we're gonna see an infinite? Oh, she does. She still got that? Nah, 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 nah. Okay, yeah. This is beneath me. Round two, fight. Be careful, these are projectiles and the low. Okay, now the ice armor. That's big punish. Here we go. What are we looking at? A drop combo, unfortunately. Cannot be dropping this late into the game, Destroyer. I agree. Get top of the hair into the scream. Big damage incoming. 27%. Maybe not huge, but still healthy. Okay, here we go now. Breaker. They trade on projectile. Winning trade that time for Chopper. Activates the ice armor. Trying to find an opportunity to get in. And here we go. Spin in those stupid batons. Hey, 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 hey. Watch, me. watch your mouth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ice armor again. Good jump in from Blackberry TTV. Definitely wants to take this round. Oh, goes for a preemptive down one, but the jump in from Tanya. <laughs> Definitely put it on you. It's going to put it on you. Oh, yeah. Break dancing. Let me ask you something. You ever let Tanya put it on you? Tanya going to put it on you, put it on you, Tanya. 10 seconds left on the clock, Destroyer, and that's gonna take the round. Tying things up, Choppa's with the patience, and it pays off. Nice anti-air. 13% off that, too. For the cross-up, not gonna land, finds an opening, though. And there's the block into a big punish now. What's the damage here? Oh, he's gonna smack him in the other side of the screen. I'm loving the way this nice. guy is uh, controlling the, the, the wow. whole screen right now. You see the range on that? That's Tanya for you. She'll definitely put it on you. 
Good teleport to the throw. other side. Yes, sir. What's the follow up? Windmill? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I see windmill. it. I That's see it from it. a mile away. That was unbelievable. I mean, it was looking like Blackberry was in complete control for a second there, but finding one open, one opening, and now Choppa's just completely shifts the momentum and takes that game. It is now up 2 0 in this set. Look into 3 0 Blackberry. Nah. And this is tough. This is tough. I mean, Blackberry. It relies pretty heavily on playing that full screen zoning game because you always want to play that full screen game to wait for your opponent to make the mistake on the way in. But when you got that sub zero cameo, when you got that projectile defense, it just gives you so many opportunities to just rush down your opponent and force them to kind of hold that. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Blackberry thinking of a character switch? What are we looking at here? What are we looking at here? A lot of thought here on the character select screen destroyer. Blackberry, not sure what to do. I'm not even sure what to do. We have somebody Yo, in Lena? the bracket that has almost been playing a set for one hour, and I'm about to just DQ <laughs> both of them, bro. I swear to God, I'm about to just DQ both of these guys. This has got to be a joke. How have these guys been playing for almost one hour? And I, I've been actively trying to figure out what the scores are in this set. And it just doesn't make any sense to me, bro. Blizzard and Hella Larry! Where the hell are you guys? Blizzard and Hella Larry. Ultra! Oh, Blizzard, Blizzard. Blizzard was in the Discord, too. I'll take whatever punishment can come. Alright, Larry and Thursday, play your match. Larry and on Thursday, play your match. Larry and Thursday play your match right now, please. All right, here, here we, we go. go for game three right now between Blackberry and Choppa's. Choppa's with a really impressive Tanya that's going to put it on you, but Blackberry, no slouch. I mean, this Sindel is really tough to handle as well. He does a great job with the pressure of this character, so let's just see. That's no, find some play your next match. Oh my goodness, Destroyer Choppa's is just holding it down with these windmills. Yeah, no, chipping bro, this, it is, out. This, is, this is bad. Ma match point now for, for Choppa's looking to make his way into top eight with this Tanya. He's gonna put it on you. Well, I still have faith in Blackberry, you know. He's got the Sub-Zero cameo. I feel like it's not really doing the most work right now for him. But, you know, it is preventing the, uh, the zoning that Tanya is capable of doing. It is preventing it for sure. No doubt about it. 31% there off that combo. Still in control. Blackberry needs to steal a turn. This, this is another one of those things, just similar to Johnny, where I sit there and I'm like, when's it my turn? Like, I'm begging. When's it my turn? All right, yo, Esto, play your match. Please, play your match. Yo, I hate how he says I need to be advanced because they, they can't they do that themselves or? Yeah. yeah. If they both support the sport, they will. <laughs> Very good. Oh, he's gonna go with the hair pressure. The down one coming in clutch again. The forward escape, that was genius. Good anti-air. Okay, finds a life here from Blackberry. I think this might put him in a position to really make a serious comeback. Big stuff here, Destroyer for Blackberry, who's looking to get well over 40% off this, 45 to be exact. Oh, but the setup immediately with the armor has to break her. Okay. There we go now. The ice armor in effect. Oh, and gets popped by the windmill. That's going to be the game. Choppas takes that set 3-0 and will be advancing to our top eight destroyer. Wow, look at this madness. Oh, my God. Uh, yo, what is she doing Whoa. here? The, the, the Olympics? Holy cow. Just speared her entire face clean off. You gotta be kidding me, bro. What did Sindel do to deserve that? 
Unbelievable stuff, Destroyer. Really good set there between Blackberry and Choppa showing off what they can do with Tanya, who said she's gonna put it on ya. Wow. I mean, crazy. Crazy. Look at this madness, bro. Just look, look at the calculated Tanya gonna put it on ya play from this guy. Calculated. Calculated. Put it on you. Calculated. You understand me? <laughs> and that actually, so that rounds out Destroyer, the winner's side of our top eight for this Friday right now. <laughs> what? What happened? Uh, do we even have any of the lower side matches to play? Shoot, man. We do. We do. We have Hello Larry versus Plus is not real. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And hey, you better Let's tighten go. up that attitude, buddy. Hallelujah. You better tighten up that attitude, or I'm gonna break it. Hallelujah. 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 Oh my God, bro! I just accidentally ended the stream. Yo! What? <laughs> we got a uh, another three hundred dollars from Skeptum what? to the prize pool, and then fifty dollars. <laughs> From Fragrance. How much are we at? From Fragrance Toto Supreme. Hey, hey, watch your We're language. A, How much are we at? 850. Hey, no, his name is literally Bro, no, in week one? <laughs> $855 right one? now. And it's only week one right now for this tournament. That's insane. Thank nah. you all so much. Yo, if we hit them. If Thank we, you. Listen, if we hit, a, if we hit a 10 000 for this finale. I'm gonna get. No, let me not say something. Yeah, <laughs> Never mind. No. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't say something that you, you're gonna regret later. <laughs> thank you, thank you, uh, Skeptic. Thank you, Fragrance. Thank you, everybody who's so been so part of the match for this tournament. You guys are increasing the hype and as well providing more for these amazing competitors. We're out here putting our heart and soul into this gameplay, so we really, really appreciate that. But okay, we're into this match now, right now, Destroyer. This is the loser side as well, so whoever loses this has been eliminated. The winner will be moving on to the top eight on the loser side to try and make that dream run so that they can make that final top eight for Champions of the Realm. Yes, sir. I mean, look at this right now. Plus is not real with his back to the wall, trying to fight his way out of this crazy situation that Hello Larry has him in. The jump in, go to the teleport. Yo, he is blowing up those armor gaps so well right now. Plus is not real, might have to be careful dropping that ax. Ballsy overhead. Yo, you know what's funny about that overhead caboose? It's a lot faster when you're watching it from a spectator's standpoint. Yes, actually, you're right. Because when I use that forward too, it feels so slow. Oh, knocks him out of the air, continues with the combo juggle. This is crazy. Up your destroyer activates the ice armor now. Plus, is not real. It's real. Looking it's to real. live up to the name. It's real. Oh, punish there off the delayed wake up. Good stuff there from Plus. Pushing towards the corner now. And there we go. Throw connects. There's a back throw though out of the corner. Cross up. Get it. Oh, get the axe slam. Overhead. Would have been dangerous. Wait a, Wait a second. Wait a second. Making a comeback here. He just needs one touch. Drops the axe again. Back this time slam. he gets hit. One of the overhead. Oh my god, that's not chip. Oh, but the down man. one to seal the round. Unbelievable. I can't believe it's not butter, Caboose. I can't believe it's not. Stuff there, activate the ice armor. Doesn't even have to worry about the Kumalan cameo setup. Just the cross up, but no follow up. What the section to land and armoring through now is Hella Larry pushing plus to the corner, but a whip punish. And there we go, the axe slam back into it. Into the corner you go, 28%, but just wake up button. Hella Larry trying to change his name to plus is not real. Oh, wait a second. 
second. Watch out for that fatal blow, Destroyer. Oh, but this is looking like it's going to be the end of the game. Indeed, it will. Hello, Larry. It's game one. Bro, that was a long game number one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Felt like 10 sets put into one. <laughs> it really did. Every time a match runs the timer, you are definitely going to feel that. Plus, is not real. Let's see if he can tighten it up here. He's running the, the, uh, the Sub-Zero cameo, but... I don't know. I understand he wants to just, like, you know, play that neutral, not have to worry about getting hit with projectiles and just catch your opponent slipping. But I feel like you lose so much when you don't bring in a cameo like uh, Kung Lao or a cameo like Kano. I mean, don't get me wrong. Sub Zero is incredible because if he does get the hit confirmed, he's going to be able to capitalize for the massive axe charge up back two combos. But at the same time. But at the same time. Yeah, at the same time. Oh, nice armor through there. From plus is not real. And out uh, armor in through Hello Larry as well. Walk there on the armor. That's gonna be a big punish. He puts that up. Oh wow, that's hard to block, but nicely done there. Plus is not real. Yeah, this is definitely not over yet. yet. Oh, he no, is no, missing no. right now. Punish breaker is still available. He thinks he's got this. And gets caught by the hard to block roll again, and that's gonna do it for that first round. Up there. Ovo, wake up. Grab rush, put a little makeup into the axe. We're looking at over 30 on this. And the corner setup, but waking up with armor. The Hello Larry. The Hello Larry special, you say? That's what I said. Wow, look at the setup destroyer. The Kung Lao cameo mixed with Melina is so strong. And that was over 40% damage. Destroyer. Melina, you looking good with your Hannibal Lecter skin. So Melina's up 2-0 right now, man. What is Plus Is Not Real going to do? Yeah, I really, I don't know what the game plan could be from here forward for Plus Is Not Real because, I mean, Hello Larry is playing extremely well with this Melina, but I will say that Plus is still in it. They, these aren't very convincing wins for Hello Larry. You know, like, not to say that Hello Larry, like, is just skating by, but... You know, Plus is Not Real is pretty much in it for each of these matches we've seen. And here we go now. A good, strong start is definitely what you need into the setup with the overhead off the low. The blocks, though, from Hello Larry. Gets caught by the forward throw, though. Very nice. Oh, wait a second. Nice. He's going to get put in the corner. Man, this is for top Beautiful. eight as well, Caboose. Plus, is not real. Really has to clutch it up if he wants to get in there. Uh, top eight and to avoid being eliminated Woo. this week. Otherwise, you got to wait till next weekend. There we go. Really good, convincing round from Plus, is not real. More of that, and we could be seeing us go to a game five. Okay. This, is the, this is the type of pressure I was nice. talking about here. There we go. Stuffing those armor wake up or those, just the armor in general, not, not a wake up, but. Oh, but yo, did you notice the uh, nerf coming into a huge effect there? He used both uh, Kung Lao cameo hats and then it went in a massive cooldown. Right, you just gotta sit there and wait for quite a long time. Oh, no conversion. I don't think he was able to uh, recover in time. Wow. 
to teleport. And plus looking to close this out to take a game. Hella Larry, though, has an opportunity for the coveted magic pixel comeback. There it's not it gonna is. happen. Great patience there from Plus is not real. And that's gonna be a game on the board. It's exactly what he was looking for. Wow, you wanna hear something crazy, bro? No. Uh, Gurner lost 3-2. <laughs> What? Yeah. So we're going to be streaming Earth's LV Chomio versus uh, Cosner. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. How do you feel about that? Wait, are we streaming all the losers ones? Nah, it's going to be the last match on stream. All right. Wait, where is this? This one is in uh, pool two. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that's still the best though. That's still the best, so I'm kind of curious to see what this guy was using because, man, taking out a player like Gurr that went on a rampage at ECT is kind of ridiculous. Oh, oh. oh, good jumping. Hello, Larry, right now does not want to lose. Neither does plus. I mean, being down 2 1, really fighting for his life out here. Has the breaker. Well, I mean, didn't have to, but he's looking to try and really salvage anything he can here. Has the fatal blow. Gets the cross up to connect oh that one. Oh my god. Dude, he needs that to start spending massive. resources. If he can go with a mix up into the fatal oh. blow. Whoa! Oh, no! Wait, no. what? The what the hell just happened? Teleport? Is there armor on the teleport? Since when? No idea. Oh my god. That might have just tilted plus it's not real. That's extremely unfortunate. Oh, gets caught. It's not looking good right now. Hello Larry working on a flawless round so far. So much ground to make up for plus. Text the throw. Okay. Dashing in. Larry is backing up. Gets caught by the armor. No axe slam. Bro, the raw, raw spin. Oh, oh that's a big plan. A oh. Quintality. Oh no, destroyer. You hate to see it. <laughs> that was the, that might have been the fastest quintality I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Yo, where do you go? Where do you go, bro? That was uh, quintality speed run any percent. Like my goodness, <laughs> this man dipped out in the blink of an eye. That was like a oh, Senzu Lee. teleport, bro. What the hell? Oh, we gotta I take mean, a look at that again. That's really, really unfortunate because it looked like for a second there that Plus was making the ultimate comeback. He used that breaker, huge resource to spend, and he bet a lot on potentially making the comeback. But just, just got caught by that cool lot teleport which i mean me and you both i had no idea it was armored like that i mean what was going on i have no idea man but ggs to both players there that was a really good set now we are going to be getting down to the final match for tonight we gave you guys you know just a couple loser matches but uh we don't want to be here for the next 10 minutes so we're just going to get I this do. over with so you want to stream all of them then let's stream let's just stream all eight weeks right now what do you think <laughs> Look at all the signups for week two. Let's get it started. <laughs> We're a 72 hour stream. Just get it all done. <laughs> do it. Um, but yeah, I mean, thank you, Ralph. Really, really appreciate your contributions to the match arena. And then as well, kept them with $800 total. Crazy. Which is insanity. Crazy. And then fragrance with the $50 as well. And then $5 from Isaiah. We really appreciate every single one of you for your contributions to the match arena. This is all going to the players and the competitors here. They're competing to get a spot in that top eight finale. And that top eight finale is what this prize pool is building up for. And look at this destroyer. Again, to add to the diversity of what we've been seeing today, we got Esther the Pesto with the, with the one and only Shang Tsung. And this guy's been putting in a lot of work, it seems like, because he's taking out heavy hitter names like Gurr, man. 
Yeah, that's that's not not an easy uh, competitor to take out for sure. Definitely so that's not. Quite the upset. Did you just see all the cool out hats on the screen? That was kind of wild. Yeah, no, it was too much to keep a keep track of, man. Look at Costner looking to battle back. Oh, up lost earlier with this reptile here. Let's see. That was crazy. That My was goodness. really good. Cosner really sharpening up his skills right now. This dude just caught him slipping with two reptile sky drops off the top rope. That was an absolutely disgusting setup. It was absolutely disgusting. Yeah. It was absolutely disgusting. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yo, last match for tonight. Let me see some hype in the chat. Let me know if you guys been enjoying the action. Champs of the Rounds is back. Champs of the Rounds is back. Champs of the Rounds is back. Reminds me of my favorite movie. Yeah, it's called The Recall. It's for my face. It's for my identity. Oh my god, Cosner is definitely trying to go crazy here. Dude, why does the Invis take so long now? I mean, I think that... Uh, that nerf was kind of brutal. Wait, what do you mean, nerf? Or? Yeah, they made the Invis go. Oh. It, it takes mad long for him to go invisible. When you got characters okay. like Smoke, they could just go invisible in the snap of a finger. I thought you meant it was... Uh, it was longer, like it lasted longer or something. No, it takes him longer to like go invis. Yeah, that's crazy. That was that's an actual nerf right now. I don't know if Reptile even needs a nerf. He got a nerf. That's crazy. Well, okay, Costner still putting in work with the reptilian size off. Taking game one against Esto the Pesto. He said, Yo, it's rewind time. <laughs> Yo, that's hot. <laughs> Yo! Are we seeing a cameo switch? Yo! Sticking with the, sticking with the Kung La. It looks like Destroyer to me that that nerf came in for Cyrax and everyone was like, okay, Kung La. You know, like it's like, it was like that scene in Finding Nemo with all the seagulls. Kung La, Kung La, Kung La, Kung La, Kung La. Kung La. <laughs> yeah, don't ever fake laugh like that for me ever again, you understand? Here we go now. Good stuff there. Look the rising fireball. Straight projectiles get stopped by the crocodile roll. Is it a crocodile roll or an alligator roll? Yeah. Or, or, or is, is that interchangeable? Well, if you start asking questions like that, that's when you start to mess with the matrix, and you don't want to mess with the matrix. Oh, right, it'll get real juicy real quick. Yeah. Stuff there. Oh, nice catch from Esco to Pesto. Setting up with the Kung Lao. It's the death roll. Okay, it's the death roll. I guess we'll just call it the death roll. Fine. I guess, you know what? We'll call, I'll call it the death roll just for you. Wow, very nice. Freeze. Back to threes, everybody. Chill. Oh, look at that. He used his Speedy Gonzalez to catch him out of nowhere. Oh, and so the best are just kind of backing up here. The Gators don't roll. This way. It's a crocodile roll. Oh, Gators don't roll. Yeah. We got Crocodile Dundee over here. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Good projectiles. Kind of just shuts him down. I'm liking the spacing from both these players, from Bofa. Bofa. Costner, though, was doing really well here with the Reptile, actually. Great stuff. Oh, pop up. Breaker immediately to avoid any incoming pressure from Esso the Pesto who gets caught by the Kung Lao hat. Wow. That's game two. Bro, what kind of stuff was that? How did this man just catch him with the uh, with the Crocodile Dundee Deluxe? Yeah, he said, Crocky. You know who they hit up? Who? They hit up Waz. Uh, <laughs> yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what the hell? Nah, Waz about to pull up and start swinging. Let's go! Yeah! Alright, here we go. Starts off the match with the low hat. 
He's gonna catch it with the what is it? The alligator death roll or the crocodile death roll? He's gonna catch it with the Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> I'm sorry, Waz. I'm sorry. <laughs> How are you gonna get him? I said he's gonna catch him with that. He's gonna catch him with the with the Wasminator. Let's go! Yeah! All right, kid, get out. All right, get out. Let's see here what's going down. It's one old Cosner just death rolling this kid into oblivion. He's got wow. force balls all over the place. Wow. Very this, aggressive this lizard right here. This honestly has me so intrigued about what that set was like between Esto and Gur. And, I, and I, I honestly, I hope as well that we see Gur in the coming weeks and continue to sign up. Well, do me a favor and pay attention to the woman in the background. She's one of the most animated characters in Mortal Yo, Kombat. She is into it right now. She, she really I'm, I'm going to do the voiceover right now. She said, Oye, mira, pero que estás pasando aquí es la gente. <laughs> Oh, look at that guy in the far back right, he's going, Yeah, let's go! Wait, which one, the one with the kid in the, in the back? <laughs> Wait, is it 2 0? I think it is 2 0, you bum. Alright, here we go, wow. match point right now. Okay, Costa. I'm leaving. <laughs> We're gonna close this out, Destroyer. Got the fatal blow territory now, but Esto is trying to close out this round, not gonna do it. The breaker comes in. Oh, and there we go. The straight projectile okay, okay. gets through. Listen, Shang Tsung, he told me. He said if I want to be uh, powerful in the next timeline, I let him win this set. So I, I try to catch you guys, you know, why you didn't even realize it. Good jumping. That kid Good just jump. saved his life. He's going to hit him with the whole string. Yeah, this is going to hurt. I think he's going to go make the pesto after this. Sure. Combos though. He's gonna oh, big go. stuff. He's gonna get the new mambo sauce. Oh yeah, the mambo? Yeah. The mambo jumbo. Couldn't get the side switch drop combos galore destroyer. This is not good. Pato. Okay, here we go. Breaker immediately, you need to. Done there from Costner with the YOLO. Get that low to connect. I don't even know how. Don't ask questions. Into fatal. Is this enough? I know the scale's pretty heavy. Nah, he's dead. <laughs> Is that it? He's yeah, dead. He's dead, looking bro. like it. That's gonna be the game. Actually, no, I don't even know if that skilled at all. That was almost 50%. <laughs> yeah. No. Never mind. That's it. Costner has eliminated Esto de Pesto. And now Destroyer, thanks to some contributions from Double Knives and Sir Unshackled with $70 and $20 respectively. Oh my God, we got a thousand. We are a thousand twenty dollars wow. now on our prize pool for Champions of the Realms Mortal Kombat 1. You guys are the best wow. community ever. Thank you so, so much. I mean, hey, no better way to close it out with a reptile fatality crushing this dude's head into a million pieces. I mean, look at this right here, man. He hit him with a fatal blow, and you were even questioning if this was going to do it. Like, my boy, that was a 50% combo. Kozner had that locked down, ready to go. Was locked down, yeah. He had that locked down, ready to go. Don't you ever question it ever again, you stupid idiot. All right, all right, my bad. My Sorry. fault, my fault, my fault. Sorry. I didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean to say that, but yo, that's going to do it, Caboose. That's going to be the last match for tonight. I think we had, uh, <laughs> I, I, hey, listen, it wouldn't be Champions of the Realms week one if it didn't have some uh, bumps in the it's road. Complete chaos. Yeah. Some bumps <laughs> in the road. I mean. That's one way to put it, man. I'll tell you what, man. It feels like we never left. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No doubt about it. No doubt about it. But yo, that was a ton of fun. We, I mean, towards the end there, we got a nice groove, a ton of people, you know, everybody joining in. The only thing that we will ask, and like Destroyer said, we're going to make a video we're gonna, to do so. But not only that, week, but we're going to tighten up the cord. We're going to have a lot of pinned messages. Right. So it's very like, you guys know what's going right. on. But, but what we want to make absolute sure for week two for anybody, because by the way, you can sign up for week two right now. If you were eliminated, if you didn't make it, if you weren't able to make it for week one, sign up for week two, get ready to go. 
all that we ask is please check in for your matches and submit your scores all right that's all that's literally all you got to do that's it all right because you just make our jobs hard, harder to commentate and bring the entertainment for the people watching at home if we have to be jumping back and forth into the Discord helping people out because they didn't check yeah, in man. on time. Yeah, we, we, we run a real tight ship. We run a real tight yeah. ship here, so, you know, we really appreciate it. Also, I want to big uh, give a massive shout-out, a huge shout-out to the Tarot to the Temptress. temptress. Y'all probably ran into her on the Discord. She is a saint. Huge shout-out to Tarot Temptress helping out uh, keep this tournament organized. Caboose, massive shout outs to you. You know, I'm always grateful having you on the mic. Yeah, thank you, thank you. And also, and, uh, big shout outs to all the viewers and all the contributors to the match arena. And yeah, take right. it away, take it away, and get us out of here. Yeah, yeah, we and really let them know, appreciate let them know everybody. the top eight. Let them know the top eight. Exactly. I really appreciate everybody who's donated donated to the match arena. Thank you so so much, guys. We're already over a thousand dollars in the prize pool on week one, on day one. That's insane. You guys are crazy. Much much love to everybody watching. Um, but yeah, top eight is going down this Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my Twitch channel. That's twitch.tv slash caboose, all right? I better see you guys there. I don't want anybody in the chat saying, I didn't know it was going to be on this channel. I didn't know. I didn't. You don't impress me. You don't. You don't. All right? So I don't want, I want to see everybody there ready to go on Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then, of course, we'll be back after that for week two next week. So I'm looking forward to the rest of this competition, Destroyer. This was a blast. Thanks for having us. And until Friday, see you guys later. Peace out. Peace. Hey, just coming back to let you guys know if you enjoyed this video, do me a big favor, slap that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Also, we live stream on Twitch just about every day, so come and say hi.